Anyone? Just hide. <laughs> <laughs> right, we are rolling. Alright, so, first thing, um, point of inspiration. I'm going to award this to Arthur and Hass because <laughs> the Torvin encounter was just gold. It was so good. I 100% that... was the instigator there. You was, yeah, true, but yeah. the fact, that, I mean, yeah, you both kind of contributed to it. Well, it mostly yeah, Oh, no, 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 no. But it was, um, it was... Italian's performance. And, yeah, <laughs> and it was just, and it was, um, what's the word? The fact that you survived it as well was another yeah, I, thing. I expected to die. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to die as well. <laughs> Um, especially when he got the, especially when he got the sneak attack on you, that's, and how much damage that deals. I thought he was going to kill you. But, yeah, <laughs> that's a tough guy. Um, <laughs> I was ready for death. Yeah, you could have done. But it he didn't. He very... didn't attack. He barely attacked me though. There was reasons for that. Because he but loves you. Doesn't like no, him. I quite. know, but <laughs> Caramel at this point is kind of pissed. Doesn't really yeah. care. <laughs> Well, yeah, I can't say anything about that. <laughs> um, one thing we really Caramel's addressed... too wild. He can't think of that far ahead. <laughs> One thing we will address that we didn't address in the session because I was too excited still with the that encounter <laughs> was Trisha. Um, Aramil told Trisha to relay a message uh, to the others, uh, which she <laughs> did do. It. So uh, she was uh, currently no, she was yes. Yeah, so <clears throat> um, obviously she was outside the building with Pollock or Pollock, Pollock's house, and um, so it was quite easy to tell Arg. Uh, with, in terms of Reardon and Cirilla, she knew you were going to the inn. So what she basically did, she kind of solid snaked her way in, and um, to, well, she, it benefit that she could basically ant man her way in. So she basically went really small, walked Damn in, it. checked checked all the rooms, found Reardon and Cirilla, went in, woke them up, told them their message, and then left. Um, and then obviously when you guys came back, uh, Trisha would have joined, rejoined Aramil and is currently with him, tiny, in his pocket. Um, the message that Trisha would have given the three of you is we're sorry find out more information until we come back <laughs> oh my god so you can obviously do with what that you will. Uh, did yeah. I genuinely say that I can't that's even what, remember that's exactly what you said word for word that's amazing. is it we or I we are we. No, we're sorry I checked that yeah, we're so. sorry <laughs> find out more information until we get back I think it was noted that Talion looks a bit roughed up as well by someone I can't remember who. But in case you've got blood all over you. Yeah, you've got yeah, you've got <laughs> like, like yeah, and you've got, got like puncture clothes. holes all over your clothing yeah. and stuff. But obviously, physically, you're okay because obviously you keep your heel and yep. stuff. But yeah. Um, so as I explained, you are now in the Academy of Magic. <clears throat> you've gone through the entrance. Um, you are currently in the central hallway, which is sort of mahogany wood. Various pictures of of uh, Fenelia. Uh, that uh, decorate it. There are a lot of people walking around. So there's about probably about eight other people in this corridor, just in this corridor, um, of various ages and races and genders, um, shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, but you are f all the doors are closed, so you can't see where they go into. But obviously, you the reason you can see this is because you you can you know it from Pollock's map. Okay. But obviously, you don't know what the rooms are. You just can see what's in those you know roughly what's in those rooms. So you are free to do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to say to Pollock, so where's this crystal that you were talking about? Well, I believe... Well, first off, keep your voice down. <laughs> and so, <laughs> it's most likely in the basement. So we're going to have to kind of go up to go down. What? Up? Why? It's just the way this place is laid out. All right then. I think you lead the way. <laughs> Unless anybody right. wants to explore around here. What, like, what's around here? Down this floor. Um, well, sort of through this door over here, you've just got a general congregation area where people just chat, do whatever. <coughs> In this room over here is the sort of main reception area where you can all, um, Sort of head of head of not head of the place head of facilities will be able to direct you where you go, especially for newcomers. Um, so you can also do that in there. Um, up ahead is the sort of mat big dining area. So this is where a lot of people would either have mass debates or um, would eat. So a lot of the time it's used for everything. Um, through there, you've kind of got a, a more sort of a meeting room that you can hire out. A lot of the time, people will do. 
debating in there or have conversations or little meetings in there. Um, and on the sides are basically sort of storage rooms and things like that, but for, for food and what have you. That's for this floor anyway. Hmm. When you said people eating, is it like a canteen or yeah, something? Yeah, that's what that's what's up ahead. Oh, okay. I'm going to go walk to the canteen. I want to go grab some food. Okay. So I'm 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 going to say to Pollock, is it free? Yes. I'm then immediately going to follow Italian and go get the <laughs> food. <laughs> so when you come in, <clears throat> what are you I'm going to go. I'm going to go in the administration room for you guys first. Okay. Well, we'll do the. Uh, what about uh, Cyrilla and Reardon? Where are you guys going to go? I mean, Pollock's going to walk ahead. <clears throat> no reason not to stick with Pollock. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stick with them. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to do the administration room first. <clears throat> so you go into this administration room. It's fairly clean. Um, there is a desk with a with a uh, uh, male and a human male sitting behind the desk. He goes, oh, welcome. I have, don't recognize your face. You must be new. Well, I guess um, uh, I've Joined today, actually. You're right. Oh well, congratulations for passing the exam. Thank you. Um, I just got a few questions for you. Um, I'm I'm new to this place, and in in the uh, confusion of passing, I forgot my um, inkwells. I see. Do you do you um, obviously uh, um, for me to be studying in the library and and need more access to these inkwells? Do you happen to have a store of them I can I can use? Yeah, I mean, if, if you go, uh, if you come out of here, you turn left into the main uh, canteen area. There's uh, uh, some stairs. Take those up, and then on the the floor above us, you'll find the main library. Within there, you'll find a librarian who will have things like parchment, inkwells nice. that you are free to use as you wish. As you wish. Thank you. <clears throat> what do you recommend to be the most powerful form of magic while you're here? Ooh, you now see that's. That's definitely one for, for the debate team. No, well, not the debate team, but the uh, sort of debate committee. There's, that's very subject. That's very um, down to your world views. Some people. Well, where do you where, where do you lie on this? Cosmic debate. <laughs> 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 well, I'm in the. Uh, hang on, let me just quickly get the magic forms. <laughs> There's a few. There are a few. Oh, well, for me, I think, like, you know, evocation seems to be the way forward. I mean, rain, raining down destruction seems like the definition of power to me. Good man. You man of my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the information. Oh, no I'll problem. see you around. You too. Right, so as you all enter, so you all would have entered in here. So, <clears throat> this is a pretty much a canteen area, kind of similar to a Harry Potter main hall. Uh, there is a canteen sort of over here, over to this side where you are able to collect food that whatever you want. Um, <clears throat> there is an orcish woman, a half orcish woman um, behind it sort of serving the food. Well I say serving, she creates the food for you to have. Um, and like I said, on this table, you've got about ten people there that's currently eating various different foods. Um, you know, you've got some that's eating some roasts, some eating sandwiches, some each eating salads, some eating, you know, ice cream, some eating sweets and biscuits, some having tea. The basic, a wide variety of, of some, you know, some having pasta, I assume that exists. But yeah, there's a lot of different sort of people eating different foods. So assuming you, you're going up to this half hawk woman, she mm. kind of you know, she goes, "Oh, welcome, welcome. I haven't, I haven't seen you guys around here before. You must be new." Uh, yep. Just say no. You basically ask me for whatever food you want. I make it for you, and that's it. Cool. I, I need... want a burger. <laughs> okay. I want uh -huh. ten lots of non-perishable food. <laughs> you're gonna have to be a little bit more specific than non-perishable food. Mm. She makes your burger, by yes. the way. In the meantime. I actually don't know what number. Would you even be food? like a meat eater? I have interest. Like, so I don't suppose you would. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Um, yeah. So she goes. You're gonna be more specific than non-perishable food. 
Right, <coughs> give me a moment. Do you have? Hmm. Don't worry. I mean, about this that. is. <laughs> I mean, this is all magical food. It dissipates. So, you know, within twenty, if you don't eat it within twenty-four hours, it just disappears. So. Oh, okay. Can I just say to the um, meat eater con comment? I'm just going to be like, "Did you kill something for this?" No. Well then. Okay. Okay. All right. Can I have five steaks in that case? Magic meat. Yeah. Sure. Fine. Magic goo. Five steaks. Okay. I'm gonna pocket the five steaks. Okay. <laughs> Never know when we not need to heal, man. <laughs> well, like I said, it only lasts 24 hours. So Hopefully. even in your bag of holding, it will. This your bag of holding is gonna be so disgusting. It's pretty bad. It I'm is gonna clear out gross. The deer meat that I had in there earlier as well. So. Yeah. Right, I need to I need to hop out. Yeah, so be right back. I'll just uh, check your following until then. I'm yeah, I'll try to finish that burger by the way, I'm gonna immediately ask him just be like two more. This time doubles. Uh Kidoki. She just does it. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna basically uh, carry both and just like <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Doo's moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um I was gonna ask uh do you have in this academy any sort of scrolls that anybody can use to cast any spell. Well no, I mean that's I mean to be honest, you're not I'm I'm just the person who serves the food. You're asking the wrong person. Your your best bet's to ask the librarian up 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 up, up those stairs. Okay. So did you pass the exam to get here or do you just work here? I just work here. Really? Huh. <laughs> Interesting. When I hear the stairs comment I'm gonna start walking with my food to the stairs. Okay. Yeah I'll Join up with the others and say I want to go upstairs. I mean, Pollux, yeah, up with that because that's the way you need to go anyway. So, cool. so I'll, I'll follow along then. That's fine. Right. So I assume Reardon's going to follow as well. Yep. Um, Arg, you'll enter while they're all kind of going up the stairs. So it's up to you what you want to do. I'm just going to go upstairs anyway. So that happens. I won't follow. I'll try and move the river as well. So you go up these sort of windy stairs, and there isn't much, there's not much exciting. Same sort of decor. Um, there's a door on the other side, which Pollock just walks through. Walks through the following hallway into a grand library. On again. Now this li- mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. So this library kind of looks a bit like, um, what's the word? Beauty and the Beast's library. Mm-hmm. So this thing is stacked with books everywhere. Like there's just so many books. Okay. Uh, Mo um, obviously magical focused. I'm gonna go up to the, the librarian and I'll repeat the same question that I asked. So the librarian's over here. Uh. The one thing you do see there's obviously a door. Uh, sorry, there is obviously a door here that you can you see. Cool. Um, but yeah, librarians over here. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Who I'll... is a? Mm -hmm. So who is a? Um, who is a dwarf? Male dwarf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Refrain from making any jokes. Uh, I'll go up to him and just say, um, "Hi." Oh, hello, good sir. <laughs> How may I help you? Uh, so I'm looking for some scrolls that anybody can cast, regardless of ability, or if you don't have them, just scrolls which are, you know, appropriate for whatever ability. Do you have such things? Kind of looks at you a bit funny. No, this is. A Academy people would just learn the spell. Hmm. This is a place where only the magically exceptional are entering, so I would assume you're able to cast such spells as long as you redo the research. You assume correctly. What is the shortest amount of time it takes to learn a spell here? <laughs> well, to be honest, that's down to you how smart you are. Hmm. Do you have any books on necromancy here? Indeed we do. It's a very um, uh, hot topic, in fact. Oh, so people, so, okay. so there's, um, the, de the debate committee love talking about necromancy. Um, huh. How... But... <laughs> Is it, are there any necromancies? Are there any spells which will let you animate someone, regardless of how long they've been dead? I, I, should, I, think, I think there is one. No, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's how long. I think there's like, what was it, Raised Dead or something? 
Is it Ray's dead? If you need a piece of the person or something there, so it won't help me if the other no. said. Um, oh, is that true resurrection maybe? That's like a really high level spell. Yeah, because I think... Because it's, it's basically going to be anything in the book. Oh yeah, true which... resurrection is if they've been within 200 years. 200 years, yeah. Um, but I don't wow, think it costs 25k need... gold. Right. Yeah, well, there you go. Alright, screw that. Um, um, Alright, can I have a goes, book? He goes, or... there are some, but, you know, the very high-end, sort of, advanced spells. That's fine. Okay, can I have a book of, like, Necromancy 101? I want to start from the basics. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, the Necromancy section's over there. You just, you're just more than welcome to browse. Cool. And do you, you have any spells which recover memories? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> well, not really sure off the top of my heart. Again, it's your best is I'm really here to just direct you to the right sections. Right, what section would it be in? Oh god, good question. <laughs> I don't even think there'd be a I think there is one for memories in the divination. Probably is divination. It sounds like a divination type of spell. So you will probably put you into the divination section. Okay. Which is over where Aramul is currently. There. Okay, so for experience, yeah, I'm basically going to go to the necromancy section and grab like a basic necromancy book, which will let me learn a necromancy spell. Uh, well, you can. You'd have to get the book. Yeah, because. The way it will be is that each spell will be in its own book, so you can get a specific... Oh, I see. The 101 would just kind of tell you um, what they do, yep. in, like an overview summary, but if you wanted to learn it, you'd have to get the book that's specific to it. Okay, let me... Uh, we. I'll just have a look through spells and see if there's anything Yeah, you'll have to... Yeah. Yeah. Right, we'll move on to somebody else then, until until then. Yes, well, it looks like... The product just kind of goes, well, I guess, uh, I guess we're going to be... Sticking here for a minute, then. What about the rest of you lot? Uh, Polly, you may have been here for a long time, but some of us have been dying for this kind of information for <laughs> years. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, uh, you know, it's hard to get access to this much magical knowledge in one one place. So, well, um, how about we just we stay here for for a couple of hours and do do what you need to do, and we'll do what we need to do. I. Point a finger to Talion on the sly, it's like a slight hip finger to Talion, okay. and just say, um, "If I tell you spells, can you put them in your bag of holding and get uh, books for me, please?" I'll say, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> <laughs> Much obliged. <laughs> I'll kind of nod in um, Matt's direction uh, discreetly. <laughs> so not um, Arg's direction discreetly. Yep. So Sonny, how if I so if, let's say I pick a spell, how would it work? Would I have to do the percentage thing? I think because you're not, mm, yeah. I mean, the thing with Arg is like you know he's magically trained. Mm. So I think with you, yeah, we'll have because you're not. I think because with Arg, he can learn things just in a matter of hours. Yeah. Um, I think with you, yeah, we're going to have to do a percentage thing. I think in that case, I I'll think. leave it because it'll take too long. Um, yeah. So the last thing I'm going to ask the librarian is I'm going to say to him, if I have, hypothetically, an enchanted object which is building up, is there any way to accelerate the enchantment? <laughs> so he looks at your scimitars. <laughs> and mm, I see. I'll kind of brush my like hooded sort of cloak in the way <laughs> as he's looking at them. <laughs> I, I'm just going to have him roll. There's... Not really. I mean, I don't really know much about enchanting weapons. I think your best bet is to go in the enchantment section, uh, which I, which is this section. But Maybe you'll find a book about weapon enchantments in there. But I want somebody else to do it for me. <laughs> I don't have to learn how to do it. Well, you're not in the really the right place for that. This is an academy of magic. People here study for themselves. I mean, I would have thought you know it'd be a good experiment for someone. No, no. Everyone's here. Everyone here is more interested in their own studies. I didn't realize you spoke to everyone. Have a good day. <laughs> That's a good. Time. Okay. Ooh, back to Pollock. Fine. Ah, so Pollock goes. Okay, turns to you and goes. Did you find anything useful? No. Oh. 
Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Um, Aramil, what is it you wanted to do? So you're currently in the divination section. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take Trisha out of my pocket. I'm just going to say, how you doing in there, Trisha? Good, master. And I'm going to say, look, we're in a bit of a situation where I don't really know where I am. Neither do you. Neither does anyone. Apart from Pollock. Now, I'm fond of Pollock and everything, but I don't know that much, and I'm not really willing to just bet my whole life on him. So, what I'd like you to do is, while we're up here for a couple of hours, do you mind keeping super tiny, going down the stairs, checking out the next room, and then coming back to me with a small report on everything you can find on the floor below? Yes, Master. You, Trisha, are a treat. Wonderful. I've got to just lay, uh, like, lightly put my hand down onto the floor so she can just walk off. She's going to stumble across down there. And things will happen, which I will... Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this, actually. She's very tiny, so... Can you, can you roll for Patricia two things? A stealth check and a perception check. What's her dex when she's tiny? When she's tiny, I believe it's plus four? Plus four. To what, but it normally is. Okay. I think it was plus four. <laughs> oh, it would be really bad to use my inspiration point so early, but I think I might have. Do. Wait, you you're doing stealth first, aren't you? So, yeah. Yes. Well, I don't know. How bad would it be to see a walking, a tiny walking tree? Um, oh, well, I can't tell you that. No, you can't. You can't tell me that. Uh, I think it would be normal. normal. In an academy. You know, you know, you know experiment. You're, we're in a magical academy. I'm sure people have done experimentations. I got on that one. <laughs> Do I need to do the other roll? No. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Fine. Um, so that will happen. Um, I don't know. So what does... Okay, Arg. We'll move to Arg. Uh, Alright. So again, you come up to this dwarf librarian. Oh, so, welcome. How may I help you? Hello there. Um, in, in the excitement of coming here, I... Seem to have misplaced my ink vials. Hmm. Would I perhaps be able to borrow some of that and some parchment, please? He looks at you and goes, "You know what? You'd be surprised how many times that happens." So he just kind of goes to the to to this uh, this pat this sort of, uh, shelving behind him, picks up about two ink wells and a stack of parchment about that big, and hands them over to you. Says, "There you go." Well, thank you. Um. While you're here, I've got about a handful of spells that I would um, like to get the books off, if that's alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. If I tell you their names, would you be able to um, tell me the spell's location? Sure. <clears throat> There's five spells, Sonny. Okay. So I'm just going to... I'm going to... I've got the pages open, so I can... I yeah, just tell me the pages. Say. Yeah. So knock on page 254... One second, one second. The best we do this one at a time. Best do it one at a time. So the knock. That's in trans. That's that'll be in the transmutation section, which is, yeah. Yep. Thank Next. Um, locate object, which is a divination on page two five six. Two five six. Locate object. Did you say? Yes. Yeah. Divination. So that is the one that Aramil's currently in. Thank you. Uh, that um. I'm looking for Misty Step. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so that's Conjuration. conjuration which on is page 260. Yep, which is this one here in the far corner, left, bottom left corner. Uh, I need just to see. I want a non detection. Non detection. Okay, uh, non detection, abjuration. So that one is in this section over here. And C, invisibility. 
see invisibility. Okay, that's page something. Uh, okay. Divination. So that's divination yeah, again. Too simple. Yeah, that's divination again. Okay, so I'll just go to those five spots. Okay. And pick up those books. Yeah, and that's fine. You'll be easily able to do that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no problem. So it down. But obviously they're not added to your spell book yet, but you do have books. Nope. Um, um, I've written it down as in very faint pen, so I know what I'm looking at. One thing I will say is when you do take a... And um, this is for all of you. When you do take a book from the shelf, mm -hmm. it magically... Another one magically reappears. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Awesome. So, yeah. Uh, Reardon, anything you wanted to do specifically? Um... I'm not sure he's too into learning spells right yeah, now. Right. He's probably going to do some recon, some pick up some more knowledge about this place, history, that sort of thing. The, the, okay. If there's books like that, I guess. We don't I mean, have to RP it though. But. Yeah, I mean, that, there's not going to be like stealth books. I mean, there'll be, unless there's like a stealth spell, but not like a stealth thing in general. No, uh, well. Or recon in general. Because oh, yeah, I'd, I'd just say like history on the actual uh, school, and uh, no, there wouldn't be any of that in here. There's nothing. Well, I mean, you have to you have to ask the librarian, but um, no, oh, okay. Then. <clears throat> um, yeah, was there anything else anyone else wanted to do for the next couple of hours? Um, <clears throat> hours after after yeah. I let Trisha go, I'm going to sit and get in a meditative position on the floor where I am. Okay. Why are we here for a couple of hours? Because Arg wanted to be stay here for a bit. Oh, fine. So Pollock, Pollock agreed. Okay. So he's giving you a couple of hours. It's about, yeah, about two hours, basically. Okay. Since it's two hours... <laughs> are there any cracks in the wall? No. Pristine. It's completely fine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, actually, mm -hmm. sorry, I've just remembered something. I do actually want to talk to the librarian. I want to ask about some inkwells. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can do that, and I mean, you can get those. I mean, I, 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 I can go it. back to meditating in a minute. But yeah. Um, so I'm not sure why I was in an X, but yeah, I don't know. That's weird. I don't know who did that. I can imagine who. <laughs> I got ideas. <laughs> right. So, yep, so when you approach it, um, I don't know if Arg is still there. Probably not, actually, so Arg's probably in... No, he's been off and around getting in, books. Yeah. Okay, um, so so the, the dwarf uh, welcomes you. Oh, hello. How can I help you? Um, do you have any inkwells? Yes, I do. Can I have them? Sure. So it goes... Behind him to that shelving unit, picks up two inkwells and passes them over to you. Brilliant, two inkwells. Um, my other question is Do you have a quill? Sure, yeah. And hand you over a quill. Brilliant. Thank you. No um, I'm then going to walk over straight back to Divination, sit down. And I'm now going to write specific druidic symbols, which I will reveal what they are, if mm -hmm. asked by the right people. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Um, so never. I mean, Pollock's, mm -hmm. Pollock's going to probably stay in... Transmutation, I reckon. So he's going to be over here, reading some books. <laughs> I reckon transmutation. We'll go transmutation. Yeah, we'll say that. Um, so yeah, I mean, unless anyone else, there was anything else anyone wants to do? Uh, I'm gonna go up to Reardon. I'm gonna say Reardon. I need to use something, but you need to be will. You need to trust me. Oh god, that never ends well. Italian. Do you trust me, Reardon? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I want something in return though. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you oh, want? No, don't get too hyped, it's nothing big. <laughs> okay, what do you want? I want you to explain what happened last night. I'm going to cast gaseous form on myself to turn into a misty cloud. I'm just going to hang there. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. 
<laughs> what the hell? Because his form is such a wank spell. <laughs> <laughs> can you? Can you? I don't even know how that works. <laughs> I think you're you basically talking to people. people. He's basically missed. I don't think he can. Can you oh, communicate? Can't communicate. I can't, well, I'm just uh, gas, so I can't talk for an hour. <laughs> you're just gas. <laughs> gas. <laughs> yeah, guess his form. Willing to show creature. I was going to use it on you, but um. When you Misty asked me cloud. a question, I didn't want to answer. But it says willing anyway, so you couldn't. Well, that's why I said, do you do you trust me? But um. Oh, I see. He didn't trust me. He just wait. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. your guinea pig. So that's only good. method of movement is flight speed of ten feet. Can end turn occupy space of another creature. You have resistance to non-magical damage. Advantage on throws. Can pass through small holes and narrow openings. The cracks. Even cracks. Treat liquid as if they're solid. Target can't talk or manipulate objects, and any objects it was carrying or holding can't be dropped, used, or otherwise interact with. Uh, target can't attack or cast spells. So no, you can't talk. So I'm just going to hang around in the air for an hour, which is how long I can maintain it, and then I'll short rest to get the spell slot back. Can I, like, whack, <laughs> whack, whack the mist <laughs> while it's there? <laughs> yeah, you can, I, can I try Yeah, that? you can. You can, yeah. I mean, nothing happens. Oh, I'm gonna technically, slow... you could take, you, technically, you could, I think, to take well, damage. damage him, yeah, could I? He, he could do. I'm gonna float to the top. Once he's hit, if he hits me, I'm gonna float to the, to the ceiling and just hang there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't make you. Yeah, we won't, make, we won't go through all of that. But yeah, you can hit him and you can hurt him, but he will still stay in gaseous form. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so extra. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's pretty much your two hours spent. Um, Arg, what are you going to be doing for the two hours? Um, I don't know yet, to be honest. Um, you could probably learn what one spell, maybe two level one spells. Next is two hours um, for a spell, I think. Well, it's two. It's an hour per spell level, so I think it was. Or was yeah. it two per? I think it's two hours per spell level. Was it two? Oh, then I kind of made you learn too many spells last night. Then, <laughs> um, <laughs> my bad. So yeah, you can only learn one level one then. Um, Sonny, are there any dark or dim corners of the room? No, it's pretty all dis like decently lit. Because it's for reading, so it's going to be well lit in here. I, I, oh, I need, I'm trying to find an area of attack, area of effect, um, evocation spell. So once I find one, I'll let you know, and I'm going to pick up the book. But that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. Right. So he's got um, these other books and his brothers. Okay. Uh, level one. Yeah. So that's yes, what you're doing. You're doing that. Okay, Arthur. Uh, is there anything else that you wanted to particularly do? No, I think that is plenty of time to finish. I have used one piece of parchment, and I imagine probably one inkwell. Okay. Um, I found. Two, by the way, for you. So there's two. There's five spells that are level one wizard evocation, but only two of them are, are AOE, and that's burning yeah, that's hands, fine. I'm, thunder wave. That's fine. I'm looking as well, so I don't worry. Okay. I, I can, I'm looking. I think that's I'll the next thing. Well, that's the thing. I think the next thing we're waiting for. So, so I think everyone's said what they're doing. I think everyone's done. Mm -hmm. So, um. Yeah, so after I mean after the two hours, Pollock's going to be like, right. Um, so he's going to kind of come back over here. <laughs> yeah, look, uh, down. We can go through. I mean that 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 door over there will lead to the central uh, stairway. Now, to, if, we, if we went up, we'd go to um, uh, the sleeping quarters. If we go down, however, that's where we end up in the basement. Okay, let's go down. Okay. I pick up Burning Hands. Sorry. Burning Hands. Ha, that's a great spell. Burning Hands is great. Alright. So. What I'm going to do... Um, is... So you're all going to teleport down. So reveal areas. God, I hope Trisha's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So you end up downstairs. Uh, I can't. I mean, you're all gonna struggle to fit in the space. Huh. This is this is the, the downstairs area. <laughs> yeah. So you you go downstairs and you kind of see this um, a single singular door. Okay. Um, so Pollock goes right through here. However, be careful. There are two guards posted here. Well, see we have to some. We'll have to get through them if we want to progress. After you, Pollock. Wait, okay. wait. What else is on this level? According to the map and everything. You don't know yet. Uh, you haven't got the map of this area. Is this restricted access? It is, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, Pollock, I think you should go first. <coughs> oh, can okay. I get out my... I'm going to prepare my cloak. Okay, are you going to put it on? Oh, I should have already said this before. I should have, like, as in, like, tested it. That it actually works. I'm guessing it does, but... Yeah, it does work. Yeah. Um, I mean... Yeah. No, what I want to do is basically prepare it, put it on me, and then when I need to use it, just flip it over. Do a quick action to flip it. Okay. The only issue with that is um, it would be a little bit weird because it will still be, you can't turn the invisibility off. So if you had it the other way around, it'd be kind of like invisible from that side but not the other. So people looking at you What's straight on. But in, yeah, so the inside would be invisible and not the outside. If you were wearing it backwards, oh, so unless you kind of like cloak. hold, unless, yeah, well, no, it would be kind of so people looking ahead of you would see like no cloak, but then walk behind you and they'll see a cloak <laughs> because it's invisible only on one side. So the only way you could possibly get around it is if you I like fold it. it in half, fold it in half or something. And I suppose actually, actually, you know, one way you could do it is have it on the right way round, but then like fold it up, tie it. So you've kind of got half a cloak, and then when you want to go stealth, you just sort of untie it and it flops down. But the only problem with that is obviously the setting up takes longer. That makes sense. Uh, Does that make sense? I don't know how that works. So, I so, so to... kind of like, so, so, say you've got like, you know, if, if your cloak was like this, flapping around, you essentially, and the, you know, it's it's this side that's invisible. Yeah. You yeah. kind of like hold it up. You fold it up like that, sort of wrap it in. And yeah. then when when you wanted to sort of turn invisible, you'd kind of untie it and it would flap down again. Hmm. That's how that's how I could only you know. Oh, could I have a like a head scar? You could. Or like a head thing. You could, and but then it can undo it and. Yeah, you could. It's I suppose. Invisible. Oh, yeah, no, it would just scared. take longer. That's the only thing with that. It would take longer. But yeah, yeah. I'd have to make it an action to. Still yeah, no, yeah, I was thinking that as well, yeah. So, yeah. Fine, yeah, you can do that. Make it a... So, so well, it's like a hood, is it? Yeah, we'll, we'll have as a hood, so it's like kind of tied up. So it's yeah, like yeah. hood and a scarf, because... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I just, I, then, yeah, like, I, I, I can imagine what that looks like. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I haven't seen my magical skill. <laughs> my magical power yet, haven't you? No, I haven't. I... <laughs> um... Okay, I'll, I'll show it off. If everyone's looking, I'll show it off. I'll like, untie it. Suddenly, I'll go invisible. <laughs> I've seen it before. I think I was with him when he. Yeah, you, you and oh, I. Sorry, yeah. Arg, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, I'll let the others see. What? I'm gonna be like, wow. When did you learn invisibility? Ultimate stealth. <laughs> 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 I bet so really would have loved it. So you enter this room. You open the door. <laughs> And I am also very sorry. Hmm. Why is there? Oh. A... <gasps> Why is there a skull on the floor? They fucking kill tree shit. Oh, animal's gonna go ape shit. Oh, is that your tree? <laughs> yeah. If I take off the skull, I'm just gonna nod sagely and say she served her purpose. Wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. No. No, no. I'm, so I'm... Pollock enters and goes, but when he, as soon as he enters, these guys kind of go, "Halt! This is a restricted area. Turn back now, or we will open fire on you." On you. Have they yeah, fuck that. I'm transforming. I'm transforming into a bear. I'm <laughs> on this. Like? I'm so pissed. <laughs> you're not. You're not around the corner yet, so you'd have to get in there. Can I see? Them? No, but I, I, can I. Can I see Trisha? You won't. You won't be able to see them properly unless you go inside that room. Okay. Can I see Trisha? You can from there, yes. Right, I'm going to transform. <laughs> okay. 
in in the entrance. Right. Oh I'm going God. to have to. I'm 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 sorry, guys, but Arima would rage out. <laughs> Trish is basically his baby. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to have to roll initiative here. Um, yeah. These guys don't look so tough. We'll take them. Uh, seventeen. Uh, Avatarian seventeen. Yep. Oh, I have to roll the bears initiative, don't I? Considering you're starting the fight as a bear, yes. Uh, I got twenty-four. Uh, where is it? You have to put nineteen. Dom the yeah, Dom's getting one. Dog. Ogs, what's yours? 19. Cool. Just need them. Just arrows then. Sorry, I'm finding brown bear stats. Uh, right, brown bear. I didn't expect to be transforming this soon. I'm just going to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I, I don't get plus anything. Zero anyway. Ah, oh, five. Good okay. It's going to be the worst... Uh, Rushing in ever. <laughs> um, I mean, Reardon. I mean, the thing is, with the way this has happened, the combat started when the bear walked into the room. So we can start from after. I mean, unless anybody wants so, to do anything. Well, was, no, because it's going to be like when that happens. Combat. You don't have to take an action, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it is. It's Reardon's turn first. It's up to him. You know, up to you what you decide to do with that turn. Because okay. technically. No shots have been fired. Yeah, um, I don't know that it's gone like aggressive. No, so what's what's right? happened is when well what what will happen is if once the bear goes in, they're gonna be what the hell is that? Hmm. Well, yeah. Um, bear, I'm there's... at that comment. I'm gonna just roar at them. Yeah, that's fine. That yeah. So you would have heard this in your turn, so you can decide what you do. Yeah. If anything, I I want to use my new skill, so I'm gonna go invisible. Oh wait, okay. where where are they looking and? Am I in the room? So your no, actually, your, I'm your action in the would be to your action would be to put the cloak on, which is fine. Um, if they can you still see have me, your, for you not still on. have you still have your movement. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll unfold the cloak and untie the cloak and go invisible. All right, cool. Are you going to move in the hallway? Yeah, I'll probably move in to the okay. room. Um, how am I going to do this? So let's do. I suppose invisibility they would. Uh, do, unless they have special vision of any kind. Actually, I should really check that. I never checked that. Uh, that'd be hilarious if they've just got true sight. <laughs> yeah, they're probably magic guards. I'm just like tiptoeing around and they're like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, so they don't, they don't, luckily. <laughs> okay, sweet. Um, yeah. So they don't see you, so you're alright. Um, so, oh, by the way, Dom, since we've just started, do you want to roll initiative? Oh, thank you. Uh, twenty something. Twenty-two. That's actually really funny because <laughs> you're next. Then, because you can't see them, I can't describe them to you specifically what they look like. Um, I suppose. Hmm. I mean, the problem with this, with this with this cloak is that you can't see through it when you're wearing when you've got it covering you. Because it's the it's not a see through cloak. So you moved in cloaked. Oh, shit, that is true, so you actually. can't actually see them. So um mm. and I would imagine I mean po I can't explain it to Pollock because he's an NPC and Aramil doesn't care, I would imagine at this point. I do not care. Um, so can I just be hugging the wall, let's say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly, yeah, yeah. You would have felt a door, by the way, on your travels. I think you can see that. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, so it's up to you what you do. Oh, I'm not sure whether I want to attack these guys, you know? Like, it's going to cause some bad shit if we're just killing school guards. I reckon talk them down. <laughs> Before the bear kills them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you need to talk Aramil down more than <laughs> Yeah, so are they in, are they in, um, are they like... In combat stance and such. I can't tell you that because you're not looking at them. Okay, right. Well, I'm going in. Um, I can okay. move through their spaces because I'm a halfling. Yep. Um. So yeah, you're into you're inside. So you so when you look at these guards, peer over that table. Yep. 
So you look at these guards, and they are in robes. One thing I will add, however, is they both have staves, but they're black. Mm. Secret Black Order. Not quite. Yeah. Okay. Um, you don't have right you don't... No. It's another. It's another thing. But I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't, I can't <laughs> do they? Do they? Do they respond to reasoning? Because this is clearly a misunderstanding. Well, you can try. They are. This is clearly a misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> The only, <laughs> the only misunderstanding here is this is a restricted area. People are not allowed here. So okay, so leave it, or we'll have to take action. Has Aramil hit them first? Not yet. Not, not yet. Hit them yet. Okay. Aramil, are you open to uh, <laughs> reasoning? <laughs> I'm going to Don't roar think... at Siri. You can't talk? <laughs> but you can I can't talk, her. but I can understand her. Okay, right. Well, you get a suggestion, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, Aramil, nice. back upstairs, um, and that's going to be a, a command. So that's a wisdom saving throw. You got to be seven, eighteen now. Oof. Does that still work? If no, oh, wait, wait. Does your spell save DC include? Oh, sure it it went up. Yeah, yeah, it did. It does. Yeah. Oh spell shit! Save. Mine's eighteen. Oh, do it, well, if if he's in the if is he's the bear, does it, the amulet. Yeah. He's still because his still clothes work, yeah. transform in with his form, including so, the amulet. Correct, correct. Including so, the amulet. Well, that's fucking horseshit, man. All right. Well, <laughs> what I do? Just grab a ladder, mill. Oh, that's gonna be great. All right. Oh. Go on, then. Roll. I'm a bear as well. That's All hilarious. Right. Does um does wild shape count as magic? Yes. Yes. I'll use the spell magic on him. Then. <laughs> okay. You can. Yeah, that will work. Uh, for each spell of fourth level or higher on the target, well, you've already cast the, suggestion. Yeah. So, um, oh, I see. Yeah, if, no, if that actually cast, then then that's then. That's I mean, to be fair, Siri different. would know that she wouldn't be able to cast it, so she she probably wouldn't have. Yeah, to be fair, Siri Siri would know that. <laughs> it's just we keep forgetting. Even though he's, he's transformed, would she? Uh, I'll leave well, I well she she's seen it. that I'm like the amulet hasn't dropped off me. Because mm. we all know about that's the amulets you. by this point. Because we've. If seen that's yeah. Mind. yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, fine, I'll give it back to you. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. Um, thank you. It's kind of Arthur's call because he's going to get. I'll, 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 I'll allow it because it makes right, sense yeah. for Siri to know that right. when I've transformed, my items stay with me. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Before that's fine. I cast the spell magic, I'm just going to see if I've got anything better. I should have <laughs> used my bloody point of inspiration. I could have saved Tricia. Yes, <laughs> could have done. Potentially. I'm, I wouldn't have done that if. Um, it wasn't that one. That one, that's what it means. Okay, yeah, yeah, I would spell magic this turn. Um, okay. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to work because the wording uh, for each spell of fourth level or higher on the target, make an ability check using a spell for casting ability. DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. On a successful check, the spell ends. But because it's wild shape, would that just mean the spell is technically level 13? Because I'm not making a roll for 23. <laughs> no, the spell level no. is like 2 or something, isn't it, for wild shape? Yeah. Yeah, it's. I, I don't know if we classify it as. Yeah. How how do we do that? Isn't it, is it not just a spell level? It's it's a... Yeah, but it's technically, magical... wild shape isn't a spell. Effect. Um, so it's a little bit more tricky. I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make you roll against his spell save. That makes yeah. no sense. That, yeah, so yeah. so that would be the DC. So you've got to do, ability. Ah. So your ability check your spell ability modifier, Which whatever that is. I think it's what a, 10 now, so that's... Uh, wow, wait, wait, what are you? Oh, uh, uh, Charisma, so... Five. So, Charisma. So, you're basically oh, you're doing just a Charisma using the check. Modifier. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's just the, so, you need to do a Charisma check, and if you beat Aramil's spell what's save... What's the DC, bitch? 18. Well, my DC is the same as yours, 18. <laughs> Nat 1, so I get to re-roll. <laughs> oh, <laughs> halfling magic. That uh, rolled off my desk, I'm sorry. Place failing you. That is ten. So ten plus five. No, that's fail. No. So it won't work. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Free action. I'm gonna. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do anything you'll regret. Aramil's raged out from the evening before. Oh, <laughs> Trisha has oh. just died. He's pissed. Okay. It will take a very good effort to 
Throw him down. Okay. Uh, yeah, that would be Cyrillus' turn. I can't really see much else. That's that. a fucking disaster. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the worst. Uh, what are the gods yeah. doing? Do they seem to be like... They are like readying their attack. They just rolled really low in the... Okay. Maybe it's six... Everything's happening at once, isn't it? So Yeah, it's all six seconds. Yeah. Um, it's Arg next. So how far can I get without... Move, but without moving into people, I mean, you could probably get past them. I mean, it's a, it again. It, it's it looks quite small because it is it's a huge map because there's a lot here. So um, you can easily get them. I'm not so close on like positioning and stuff. So if you want to get through that door into the room, I will allow that. Um, I want to go in the doorway, mm -hmm. so not behind Aramil. And that I want to prepare a reaction to cast lightning bolt at the two <laughs> guards. Are they like within five feet of each other? No. So, well, no, they're about ten feet away from each other, at least. Yeah, ten feet, I would say. Yeah. Um, okay, I prepare a reaction. So if Aramil attacks or is attacked to cast lightning bolt at the guard that is attacking Aramil. It's going to have to be one or the other. So either is attacked or attacking. So whichever you can't, you can't do both. So it's either if they attack him or he attacks them. Though you can't have both as a trigger. Only one of those things as a trigger. Could you? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll prepare your action if if one of the guard attacks to cast lightning bolt at the guard that's attacking. Okay. Fine. In a Fourth level spell slot. Fine. That's fine. Um, Talion's next. Hmm. So you're the only one that's not kind of in the room now. Um, so Aramil looks like pretty pissed, doesn't he? Yeah. As a, from what you can tell, is well, let's put it this way. It's the kind of like it's kind of the look that the bear gave you when you stabbed it a bunch of times. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's kind of that look. So you've seen that look before. Okay. I'm gonna walk in. And. What are the guards? Do they say anything as I walk in? Or do no. I just look? Okay. Um, hang on. Let's just make some rolls. Oh, no. they No. Okay. Um, but if you're going in looking at these guards, can you roll a history check? History? Okay. Mm. Um, 16. I don't think I get a bonus. No. Yep, 16. No. So, you... Rec you actually recognise these two. Oh. They are from the Black, black Sleeves. Fuck's sake, <laughs> they're Black, black Staffs. <laughs> um, All their there, weapons are black. Is there like a like a thing Black Sleeves members used to identify? Oh, actually, uh, well, I, just I, have black black, weapons. I, I have a black short bow, so I'm going to draw my black short bow, yeah. and I'm going to say stop. <laughs> Hold up the <laughs> Hold up the bow. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Um, let this bear maul you. <laughs> I'll say, yeah. I'm, well, I'll just say. Hold there. I'll say stop. We're here, we're here on. We're here on business. I'll I'll make sure the bear doesn't attack you. I'll kind of shoot like a glare at Aramil <laughs> while I say it. So it depends whether Aramil's going to react to that or not. I've got two black short swords. <laughs> oh, he does. Like, yes. Whoa. <laughs> well, they're in his bag, but yes. We've got yeah. a black dagger somewhere as well, one of us. So I'm going to cast yeah. message, like, subtly while I do this. At Aramil. I guess that'll be my action, but I'll carry on talking. Um, yeah. So I cast message and say to Aramil, look, I'm sorry about your tree, but we have a good opportunity here to get in without fighting. He's 100% hearing that going to go. Um, he's just going to snarl <laughs> a little bit, but you see his head go down. And him stomp on the floor. Yes. I'll follow up and say we'll, we'll kill them later. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 right. And then um, yeah, I'll kind of return my attention back to the guards and say, um... "Oh, I'll just wait for their reaction." I guess. Yeah. How are you? So what? So what is it you're exactly saying? So I, exact I said, word I said to them, "Stop!" And I said, uh, "We're here on business." I think. Something. And holding up your bow. My yeah. Okay. 
Uh, roll a persuasion check. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use a lucky point. It's persuasion charisma, isn't it? It is. Persuasion charisma? Mm -hmm. Yep. Just checking if I have proficiency. I do not, so that's 21. Mm. My curtains. So one of them kind of stands down. Okay. The other one goes, don't listen to that. We have currently got one, two, three, four, five people in here in an unrestricted area. It doesn't matter where they're from. Is Put yourself five? together. I'm going to say, are you not part of the Black Sleeves? Of course we are, but it, again... I'm going to say, so am I, and now I'm here on business. I have a contract. <laughs> what, what business could you possibly have? Excuse me, since Damn when did Black Sleeves members... Uh, share contract details with each other, but what I will do is I'll I actually have a bunch of contracts left over from before So I'll just hold mm -hmm. up one without opening it and I'll say I've got a contract. I need to get through this door and As far as I'm aware black Sleeves members do not divulge contract details to one another That may be but they also don't impede on other people's work Exactly. So we are here aside. to defend. We are here to defend this area you should not be in here. I'll tell you now, you're impeding my work, so step aside. I think so we I should just cut our losses and... So, what the, guy, what the guy at the back does, mm -hmm. he puts his finger to his ear. Oh. This is good, though, because Darius is on our side. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope he's talking to Darius. I'm so gonna he say, goes, okay, while he, when he, as he's doing that, I'll say talk to Darius. <laughs> he's oh, he's probably to Torvin, mate. If it's Torvin, so goes, it's going to be awkward, yeah. He goes, Darius... Do you have any black sleeve members due to what's the word? On a mission? Yeah, to to impede our mission. Okay, wait, when he does that, can I do the same and talk to Darius quickly? So yeah. Before Darius says something I don't want him to. I'm just gonna say. Well, the problem Darius... is Darius can only talk to like one phone call at a time. Yeah. <laughs> so he can't receive more than once. If I put my. He could, but he won't be able to respond to it. That's fine. He can so make I'm an just... assumption. He knows where they are your... and where we are. I'm yeah. just gonna quickly say, Darius, tell this imbecile to move aside and stop impeding my mission. <laughs> okay. Just so he he knows that it's us there, basically. You'd think he would have told him. I'm really surprised you've you've got you haven't said. So says Talion, the mask. <laughs> Talion's a different man since his uh, crushing defeat. Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah, I mean, you guys will see. I went. I went. Ruin everything now. I'm trying to think how he's going to react to this because he has he gets a bit conflicted. I'll be having serious words with Darius if he lets us down here. So. <laughs> there is an issue though because there's there's a reason the quills exist. So it's a little bit tricky for him to... Okay. He goes... So he, all you hear is... Mm -hmm. Right. So he takes his finger away from his ear mm -hmm. and goes, Right, Darius says, we need to kill you. Um, you Why set us up? One, so wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So all four of you hear Darius's voice. And you go... He goes, um, look, I can't tell them who you are or let you through because technically I'm not allowed to interfere with black sleeve work, hence why the quills exist. Unfortunately, if you've gotten yourself into this situation, you're going to either have to resolve it yourself or kill your way through. There can be no evidence. I'm just going to say, Darius, their blood is on your hands. As a Do I hear that still? <laughs> yes. And as a bear. Okay, cool. And he goes, you just can't obviously respond. Because um, obviously your equipment goes with you. Yeah. He goes, there is no other way. If I was to let you through, Darius, I don't my hear position it. would be compromised. No, Darius, get, just get out of my head. We'll, we'll handle this. You're actually going to say that to him? Yeah. <laughs> so the guys just look at you a bit confused. <laughs> just... Alright. Don't and give it away. Then I'll take the animal and I'll say... <laughs> they know now. They're going to be dead. Yeah. They're gonna be dead. Yeah, yeah, we're we're true. There is these guys. Like, really come true. on, we now have to resort to murder every single time. Mm. <laughs> it, it does seem to happen that way. <laughs> Look, like, Look if I... they didn't kill Trisha, I wouldn't You're a resort bear. to murder. You're a bear. Look, as yeah, I, I'm as a bear I now. To... <laughs> you shut your mouth. As I said to Paris, the blood is on his hands. I think we're we're blameless in this. He forced right. our hand. So you, You're just you... looking for an excuse to murder people. <laughs> You've um what's the word? You've Done your action, haven't you? To I, yes, I message me. Oh, but so can message. I cast another spell? 
as a you've only got your bonus, so you can only really do cantrips. Alright, I'll just cast Eldritch Blast. No, but you could do normal spells. You could do cantrip. You have to do cantrip as an action. Yeah, but he's done as a bonus action. Is that the way around? It is. Yeah. Well, let me quickly. I think it's cantrip spell or. You could do cantrip, 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 cantrip spell. But you can't do spell cantrip. Spell. Why would a spell be a bonus action but not a cantrip? That's a because you can only cast range. one spell as a in a turn, I think, something like that. So what can I cast? So you can either no. cast so if you cast a spell already, you've have to have casted it in a bone in a bo as a I bonus cast, action. I've already cast a cantrip. He's cast a cantrip. Yeah. Yeah. But you can cast another cantrip. 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 So you, can, oh, so you basically got you can do whatever you want. So you can either do a can another cantrip as a bonus. Mm -hmm. Um, or your cantrip was your action, so you've got a spell as your bonus. Sorry, I thought message was a spell for some reason. Oh, okay. um, so no, yeah, you can either Sending cast another cantrip. Of, could be, yeah. I've just so you can, either, you can basically do anything, because um, a cantrip being your action means you can either do another cantrip, you can do a spell, you can attack... Oh, no, you can't attack. Right, so since I actually don't have a single target spell, they're all AoE and I don't want to do it in this room, I'll just cast Eldritch Blast at the closest. Actually, no, I'll cast Lightning. No, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll cast Eldritch Blast. Fuck it. Which one? One or two? Oh, well, that uh, one or the one or two? Uh, top one or bottom one? Whoever was the one who was being difficult and was like, yeah, we're not going to let you through your hob. One at the back. Okay, the one at the back. I'll him. Right. So that is 19 to hit. That's a hit. Cool. No, I've just got to read his resistance. 10 plus 4. Uh, which is 11. So, how much damage? Uh, 11, I think. 11, so... So... So, he, when you when you cast that spell, it hits him, but it does kind of dissipate when it hits him a little bit. Huh. But he does take damage. Okay. <clears throat> so it's his turn now. So he's going to cast my reaction. Oh, yeah, your so your reaction will come into effect when he casts this anyway. He's going to cast. Uh, he's going to cast Cone of Cold on all of you. Is he not going to hit his friend mm -hmm. as well? He's going to. Well, do you know, he probably he should might. Do. He might. Um, is there anything I can? Oof, that's a lot of damage. Shame he doesn't have. Shame he doesn't have trained lightning. <laughs> um, he'll just do lightning bolt then, I guess. Okay. Would probably be the best thing. Mm -hmm. um, go on. Aim but your call. Yeah, he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna go for the bear. <laughs> but you know, Aramil's ticked him off, so he's gonna hit Aramil. <laughs> uh, not Aramil, sorry, Italian. Oh shit! I meant Italian. <laughs> oh. um, right, but before he, that happens, your lightning bolt will trigger, so yep. you can hit him first. So roll yep. to. Uh, what is it? It's him a Dex, isn't it? It's a Dex saving throw, and because it's an evocation, um, no one else gets affected by it. No. Because I've got. Um, and I can. I can decide. Creatures who don't get hurt <laughs> by the spell. <laughs> Let me get a tray. And your spell save. Eighteen. Is... Now. Eighteen. Yes, it is. So he fails. Nice. So, he t so he takes damage. So roll takes your damage. Nine d six because I did it in a fourth level slot. Okay. 32. Plus 5. So it's 37. Because I can have my 10 Nice. So when it, when it hurtles towards him, um, again, same thing kind of happens. It kind of half dissipates before it hits him. Um, but it, he does take, he does take, he does take damage. Mm -hmm. um, now, well, I mean, obviously it's still his turn. So, He's going to still fire his lightning bolt. So, can Talion roll a Dex saving? Do I have proficiency? I'm feeling I do for Dex. I do. Cool. We have plus five proficiency now, right? I've got written here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. seventeen. So is that, that's what you rolled, yeah. Yep. That is a pass. Ooh. So I need to roll. 
And while you're doing that, I'm going to cast Hellish Rebuke back at him. How close do you need to be for Hellish Rebuke? Um, 60 feet. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Jeez. So you take 39 damage. Ah. Oh no, half of that. Oh, half of you passed. Cool. So, uh, 38. So 19. 19 damage you took. Okay, so I'm on um, 85. Eight, 70, 75. Because you're on, you're, you have 94. Oh yeah, cool. So 75. Cool. Um, yeah, and Hellish, you can Hellish Rebuke, so, you so make... he's going to roll dex. Yep. Nat 20. Fucking hell. So, no. I'm going <laughs> So the other guy hit. So it's the other guy's turn now, um, and he's going to. He's probably going to do. He can do cone of cold because he's right ahead of everybody. Hmm. So everybody needs to roll. Constitution saving throw. Oh, that's got to be good as a Is everybody bear, in a fifteen foot cone? I think pretty much. Yeah. You're pretty cramped in here. You yeah, are pretty room. cramped in. Like yeah. you're pretty. Yeah. Uh, what am I she doing? said they were ten feet apart. They were, because they're on opposite sides. So I got eleven, and they're sort of diagonal as well. So it's a little bit. It's kind of double, generally. Like it's double. So on unnatural on twenty. So you can probably get. I mean, to be fair, he's going to be actually. To be fair, he's probably going to be aiming more for the uh. this group rather than Reardon. So Reardon can probably dodge, get in, won't be hit. But 15 could prob could quite because it's a 15. It's a 10 foot. What am I looking for? 60 foot cone. So 60 foot off. cone. Yeah, that's got. Well, actually, even even Reardon will be hit, even though he's not aiming for Reardon. <laughs> I'm probably just going to dodge anyway. Um. So yeah. So you all need to roll a 11. I got Constitution, and you need to beat. Yeah. Okay. Unnatural 20. Okay. So unnatural 20. Unnatural. Tw hang on. Actually, uh, I'll use so Italian. Got a, uh, Italian got eleven. I won't bother. Actually, no, it's fine. Yeah, I remember got a, a natural twenty. Anyone else? Uh, what was everyone else? So, Alec needs to roll one as well. Seventeen plus three. Fifteen. Hang on, hang on. Reading's fifteen. Uh, Arama, would only you, oh, you've got yours. Um, Pollux. What did Pollux get? Pollux is. Okay. It's Pollock. I haven't got Pollock in this list. Fuck. Oh, Add Pollock to this list. Everyone forgot about Pollock. Forgot <laughs> about Pollock completely. Um, do I have him anywhere? No, I don't. I have to add him in a minute. Um, uh, who else have I got? Argon Cirilla? 22. Six, 16. 22 and 16. Artie's at like... And you got that. Um, Pollock, what's your armor class? That. And I'm just going to stick you at the end because I'm not going to bother faffing about with it. <sighs> okay, so... I think the only people who pass are Arg, Aramil, and Pollock. Everyone else takes Fuck. a little damage. Can I use Uncanny which, Dodge? Uh, yes, you can. I'm use uh, no, you again. can't. Oh. Because I think Uncanny Dodge requires it to be a dex saving. No, that's mm. evasion. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uncanny Dodge is just any attack against you. Evasion is a dex saving for you. Oh, is it? So uncanny uncanny dodge. dodge is a reaction, yeah. Oh, okay, half the damage against you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I need to roll damage for this, which is 8d8. Fuck. At least he can't one-shot me. So, I'm going to cast that yeah. rebuke, by the way, so you might as well do a dex at the end of it. Alright. So I mean, you already used it this round. Yeah. Oh, so shit, that's... you're right, yeah, so I can't. One reaction, bitch. Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> so that, is, it, was a, it was a lot. It's 47 damage. Oof. Oh, fuck me. I might take half of that. You take half that? of that, so... 23? Yeah, do we round, these round down? Guys? Do we round down or up? Down. I mean, I, I tried yeah, 23. to get out of it. I can't think of a way we can get out of it. What do you mean? 27. Out of the attack or situation? Out of the situation. I don't think there's a way to down. I mean, uh, if Siri no. wants to try, I'm down. It's gone too far. Like Alright. I feel like oh, I already did some sort of medallion. Actually, in fact, Darius told them to kill us, so I don't, I don't think there's a way out of this. <laughs> Fucking dick. I'm going to have words with him later. Well, you can use mind control, but they probably have medallions. 
So, I mean, yeah, I'm... and uh, well, we never had no, no, we never saw any black seed member have medallions. That's true, actually. But then so they're taught they have the communicators. Only, only, yeah, but only um, I thought only quills had communicators. No, no. Uh, only quills, only quills have medallions. That's true. You can okay. try mind controlling them. I don't even remember having that possible. Um, right, so that's them, so it's Aramil's turn now. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, run up to the guy at the front and go for a bite and a claw. Yep, go for it. Just need You're to remind be... myself, is it? Yeah, basically. I mean, you want to drop one with the, the bite and one with the claw. Yeah. Okay, care. so the first one is... Uh, 18. That's a hit. Okay. And the second is one is a 16. Uh, they're both hits. So this room is... about 20 feet... 21 the feet... 20. Oh, I can't. It'll fight hit by 30 feet, roughly. I can't then, yeah, it'll hit everyone. So that's 17 damage. Cool. Uh, one, I mean, th when you do attack them, you the whole that like, they take. There's no dissipation. Like it goes, they take the full brunt of that. Yes. Um, Pollock's turn. So Pollock is going to cast. <laughs> Firebolt on the one in front, which is. Oh, it's holding out on us. It's like a level two spell, isn't it? <laughs> it's cantrip. Fucking <laughs> oh, cantrip. <laughs> cantrip. <laughs> You're yeah, trying to get us killed. Uh, it's bloody beginner. Cantrip. To be, to be fair, my yeah, my produce flame does three d eight. So firebolt, I don't know what it does, but mm -hmm. ten. Firebolt's one of the more powerful. Um, Does it say what level is? <laughs> yeah. Oh God. It's three D ten for me. Oh. Yeah, so. but he's not. Um. Yeah. So damage has been dealt. So Reardon's turn now. So bear in mind, you are invisible, so no one's. Yeah, but this whole cloak is becoming a bit of a nuisance. Actually, if I can't see out. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be stumbling about into tables and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit There's pointless, a isn't it? <laughs> yeah. To, can um, I peek out? Can't let lie holes. Yeah. But then could. you could see my eyes. Like it's not like <laughs> they'd be invisible. <laughs> like it, it can't fuck. Just wear like yeah, sunglasses. Yeah, but that'd be, that'd be funny as well. Fuck. You didn't ask for that. You asked. You know, you asked. Uh, I thought it'd just be like that, but it is a bit OP. <laughs> you it is a bit OP. You got to be explicit with these people. Um, I'm gonna go back to this fucking guy. I was gonna say you can you can go back and change it after um, we're done here. Just lift it up a bit so you can see it and then stab them. Well, yeah. What yeah? What I want to do is basically do uh, sneak attack. Um, yeah, I mean, you can. I mean, I could forward. I could just be in front of them, so I don't have to really be behind them. No. So with this, because they still haven't seen you, even if you popped out and you know attacked them, you would still get sneak attack. Yeah. So because they didn't know you were thinking. there to begin with. So just drop the cape, drop the cloak. Yeah, yeah. Bang. Yeah. Uh, okay. Snake like solid, solid snake from under the box, you know? It's just. Yeah. Poop. <laughs> I'm yeah, here, boys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be wielding scimitar and short sword. Well, frostbite and short sword. Yeah! So I don't have a second scimitar, but it's a matter. Um, so what is that? Plus nine. Oh, that's 17. That's a hit. Uh, who are you attacking? The one in front or the one behind? Oh, I should have asked who's looking more bloodied. You can't really tell. Without. No, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't be able to. See. I just it will be the one in front. Yeah. Okay. The one nearest me. All right then. Um, that's a um, well, that's a hit. So that's your damage plus sneak attack. Yeah. Uh, what are you attacking with? Sim frostbite. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um. So that's D6. How much is is it just an extra D6 for the enchantment? For the yeah, for the enchantment, yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, eight D6. Uh, 
Yeah, so the one D six for the scimitar, another D six for the that the ice, and then however many sneak attack damage you do. Six, yeah. yeah. So just let me know what whatever D six you're allocating to the ice, just let me know what that is. Oh, okay. Uh shit, I'll just roll it in teal. <laughs> Um, well, just give me the first. Okay, actually, two actually. Give me the first two numbers in the two, big string. Two and two. So four. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, so total damage. Uh, Thirty. Thirty. Overall. Thirty damage. Damn. How How does this guy look? So he's not bloodied yet, but he is, he's panting. You know, he's not bloodied. Can I just go in for another decent? Oh, shall I shall roll yeah. for that. You can roll another short hit, sword. Yeah. yeah. Uh, What's that, 19? That's a hit. So that should be just straight up, yeah. Uh, that's 9 damage. Make sure. So that one, the front one in front is now looking bloodied. Okay. Um, but if you're having, if you're hitting him with web, like, weapons, you are obviously now, like, at him. Um, Cyrilla's turn. Right. Um... I actually had something for this one. Um, we haven't tried uh, mind control arm yet, have we? Nope. Nope. Uh, which one's going next? Well, no. You don't. You'd have to remember. I couldn't read. I mean, the, oh well. Could I tell you? I mean, the one in the back attacked first, I believe. Out of because the there's one that goes like pretty much right after me, right? Uh, no. What's after you, it's arc. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, um, the one on the right, I will cast Oro's, I think it's Oro's, O's Irresistible Dance. Um, <laughs> so he needs to be a, uh, he needs to be a... There's no save. Oh, he doesn't save until his turn. Choose one creature you can see within range, just concentration. The target begins a comic dance in place, shuffling, tapping its feet, and capering for the duration. <laughs> I don't know what capering means. <laughs> Creatures that can't be charmed are immune to this spell. So if they've got if they've got um medallions, this ain't doing shit. Yeah. I can't I don't think I ha can be charmed generally. Hmm? What, in wild shape? I'm not casting it on you. Oh uh, not no, sorry, I'm I'm, I'm I'm looking just generally. Yeah, right. of level cannot be charmed or frightened. Oh, by elementals it'll fail. I mean, considering it's, a level, disease. considering it's a level six spell, it does make sense that it would just happen. Like it's not. Yeah, I mean, they so, will, they make they make the save back on on their on turn instead. Yeah. Yeah. It's as so, an action. So the, what you're doing on the back? Um, or the front. Uh, advantage on attack rolls. How bloody does the one on the left look? He is bloodied. With two more back. Okay, I'll go for the other one then. Okay. The other one, please. So this one starts starts dancing. Um, I don't think I have a. I'm gonna force him to dab uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think I've got a, a dancing picture. So that one will have to do. Um, that's fine. So that happens. I mean, yeah, that happens. Uh, is there anything else you want to do as a bonus? Um, I would like to message. Yep. Uh, this is a bit of my gaming message. Um, Aramil, and let him know that I can bring uh, Trisha back to life <laughs> with the right materials. Okay. That's all. Okay. It's up to him. Obviously, what do you have, how he reacts to that on his. Yeah. Uh, next up is Arg. Mm. In character, are these two people dead to us, or are we not killing these guys? I'm not going to. They're just them, doing their jobs. If you want to kill them, Arg, I'm not going to stop you. I'm going to roll. That makes yes you again. just as bad. <laughs> I'll I'll not be the one to strike the, the killing blow to them. They know too much. On on the dance on on the um. Non dancing dude, I cast Gaius at him. Ooh, nice. Interesting. Nice. Nice. So he's got to succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Okay. First time I've okay. seen this actually work, right? Probably, yeah. Well, if it, that's if it works. What did I try yeah. to use on you, Arthur? Do you remember? Suggestion, wasn't it? 
Nah. We we um we wrote a con suggestion. Oh, we did, yeah. no, oh, dispel okay. magic. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Uh, what are we looking? Your spell saves 18, correct? Yeah, it is. And he's going to make a wisdom saving throw. It is indeed. So that is higher than your spell save, so it doesn't work. Oh. Yep, going to kill him. <laughs> so, I had an awesome thing plan. Um, okay, well I cast um, Eldritch Blast as my action. Okay, on the same one, yeah? Well, I've got three at uh, level um, 11. I've got three beams. So right. I think I can target multiple people. You can, yes. You roll, you roll in rolling range spell attack for each bolt. Yes. So I have two at the guy that's bloodied and one the guy that's not bloodied. What, one, two that is, one that isn't. Yeah, okay. So we'll do the one who is bloodied first. Just make it easier. So roll two, two range spell attacks. Uh, I have spell attack bonus, right? Yes. Okay, so that's yep. 27 on yep. the first one to the first dude. Yep. That is 29 on the second one to the first dude. Mm -hmm. yep. And then a natural 20 to the yep. dancing dude. All three hits. So roll roll the damage for the first dude. So this one I'm going to add my intelligence modifier to. Okay. So it's a 7, so it's a 12. Yep. And then uh, that fell off. And then that's a nine. So what? The second one. Twenty one. Yes. So, Twenty one. Yeah. Okay. So again, magic sort of part dissipates then, before it hits him. And the other one. And then, just a six, on the third one. Okay. Same thing happens again. All right. That's it. Italian, you're up. How injured is the guy on the left? Damn. He's pretty. I mean, he's he's bloodied. That's all I can say. Without does he look like he's about else. to fall over? Or does he look like right? He's bloodied, so he's not wounded or severely wounded yet. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my scimitars and I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna kill you, but you really should have stepped aside when I told you to. And I'll go for the guy on the left. He just turns to you and goes, "Black sleeves uphold their mission." As will I. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to use a lucky point. Okay. Oh, shit. So that's like 26 or something. On yeah, the And then, so I've just realised I haven't been using my extra attack properly, so that means I can make three attacks against one person, right? Correct. Cool. Okay, so I'll do that. So my extra attack is 23 to hit, and then I'll, uh, I'll swing with the other scimitar as well. So that's three hits, so that's... Uh, 17? Yep, so all three are hits. Okay, cool. So, so tell me your damages. I'll do this bit by bit. <clears throat> so, eight normal damage on the yep. first hit. And then, uh, six normal damage on the second hit. Okay. And then, ten normal damage on the last hit. Which is with lightning, is it? The third one. Uh, yes, but I haven't done the elemental damage yet, so that's just all. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Damage. No, just so I know, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, so it'll be, yeah, lightning, fire, lightning. And then, oh wow, six on the first lightning. <laughs> Five on the fire. I know these get halved, but... And then one on the final lightning. Okay, so... And then I'll yeah. use hold break in a moment to go for the other guy. You, you can't, because he's not close enough. He's further than... Yeah. I mean, they're, ten feet, they're, ten feet, they're 10 feet apart, it's double that basically. So how large is the whole room? Oh yeah, the whole room's 20, okay, cool. Yeah. Right, so I've got to try and figure this out now, so that's... Okay. Okay. So that guy looks... Oh, sorry, severely non, non lethal. Oh, okay, fine, he's not dead. I was gonna, he I was looks severely. He looks severely. Yeah, he didn't specify. Um, you have to say it like when before you start. Yeah, yeah, I just forgot. That would have been awkward. I would have killed yeah. accident. But, <laughs> but he is. Non lethal! He's now, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, he's now severely wounded, by the way. Uh, so it's the guy in the back's turn, so he's going to have to make a wisdom. It was a wisdom saving, right? Against your dance? Uh, yes. Uh, it doesn't look like you'll pass. Thirteen. Uh, thirteen. 
No, so he's still dancing. <laughs> nice. He doesn't get he doesn't get his turn. It's quite a um, the other guy surrounded by like three people. Yeah, I'm trying to think what he's gonna do. I'm gonna say to him, it's not too late to throw down your weapons and surrender. I'm just I'm just a fellow black. We're just fellow black six members trying to do our mission. You really want to die for Darius? <laughs> so he's getting a bit, he's getting really annoyed with you, like with, your, <laughs> with you he talking him. on and on and on. So he's going. What what is the thing for this? Okay, can you roll a charisma saving throw, please? Charisma. Yes. Huh. Do I have proficiency in this? Don't think so for charisma. Uh, Italian, yes, you do because you do. Yeah. Warlock. Cool. <laughs> oh my god! It was it literally. I thought it was an at twenty, and then the dice slipped and it went on to two. I'm gonna use a lucky point because I don't want oh. to do that. Man, that would have been <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, fifteen. You are now banished. Really? Oh. What does that do? You are not there. Banished. What the hell? You attempt to send one creature to another plane of existence. Oh my god! <laughs> Can I get back? <laughs> Which plane am I on? Uh, you're there for a minute. I'm there. Oh, oh okay. I'm in. The, I'm in a demi plane. Yeah, you're in a demi plane. I'm gonna look so up you the are demi plane. Just so I see what I see. Pure, I pure darkness. Is that basically. it? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because this is a demi plane. So <laughs> it's not the ethereal plane. So it's just a demi plane. I would have cast a hellish rebuke if he hit me. So that's probably better. Yeah. Him. <laughs> um, I, thought, I think that's. Yeah. Uh, that's a spell, so can he do... Has he got any cantrips that he can do? Who's near? So you're near. So, so you're going to do Shocking Grasp on Riordan. I vanished with a faint popping noise, by the way, if anybody wanted to know. <laughs> 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 Great. Uh, what the can fuck? You manage oh, no, Sonny, that attack. Sonny, if he, yep. if he manages to hold the spell for a minute, I stay there. Interesting. <laughs> I hope he dies. Better hope he dies in a minute then. Uh, oh shit! That was uh, about worry, six guys, rounds. It's, all, it's, all good. it's not yeah, the dancer, is it? And he's, he's no. no, no, no. So he's the guy who's like guys. severely wounded. So, but yeah. it just means you if you do, if you you have to kill him. Yeah, it says here if the yeah. spell ends before one minute has passed, the target reappears. Otherwise, the target doesn't return. <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh. But you get for pissing Jeez. people off, man. <laughs> Don't piss people off. <laughs> well, I was yeah. going to spare his life as well. He should be. He has no idea how big a move is. Wait, wait, sorry. Is it concentration? It is. Uh, concentration. No. Mm -hmm. Is it? Oh no, sorry. Uh, yeah, it is. Concentration up to a minute. Oh, so if it's, if it's concentration, we can break it with damage, right? Yeah, but that's what that means. That if you can break it within a minute, yeah, then yeah. you're all right. Um, Ooh, so you don't have to kill him, I guess. But yeah, you, I mean, he's probably going to die if you hit him at some point. Yeah. It's not um, non -lethal. He tries to use shocking grasp against Riordan, but misses. Oh, I was going to dodge anyway. <laughs> yeah, sweet. He misses. So, uh, and round to Aramil. I keep mauling the dude. I'd, right. I'd like to do another bite and claw attack. Okay, go Take him out. Doesn't he have to do a constitution saving throw about this spell he's holding? Correct. Don't assuming this, or... assuming you, if, that's if you don't kill him. Says the ghost of Italian. <laughs> He's not there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that first one's 18, which I believe yep. has hit since last time. Yep. Oh, second one. So upsetting. Seven. Uh, no, 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 not seven, nine. That's no. not going to be enough. <laughs> Only the first one, what if, whatever that is. Uh, the bite. Okay. Well, Isn't don't... actually the better one to get. Nine damage. So he is still severely wounded, but he is yeah bleeding everywhere. He's going to try and maintain his thing. He does not do. Italian reappears with a faint popping noise. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You are back in the room. Uh, what are we on? Pollock. Pollock's next. Pollock. Right, he's going to use a magic missile. You feeling right, Pollock? Is that a cantrip? He's actually only level two, is it? It's a it's, it's a level one spell, magic missile. But I think he can redirect it. Yeah, so I can. He's going to do several. So he's going to direct. I think that he's automatically hit, actually. Yep. 
So he's going to do one to the weakened dude, and the other two to the dancing guy. Um, Roll for the other one. Wow. Even though it hits him, like, because of the dissip dissipation, he doesn't kill him. <laughs> but the guy is, like, near, like, on his knees. Like, he's pretty out of it at this point. But now we're back up to Riordan. All right. Thomas slices his head off. <laughs> okay. Uh, scimitar and short sword again. No okay. sneak attack this time, but mostly it's about twenty-four, I think. Yep, roll to Sorry. hit with the. Oh, no, it's not roll to hit. Roll damage for for frostbite. Yeah, that's two normal, three frostbite. Two and normal, three. Also, well, that's enough to nine. kill him. I mean, that's you'll kill oh, him sweet. with frostbite. Okay, so nice. You savage. <laughs> Talion will shake his head sadly at the dead body. <laughs> oh, probably just Why? <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> <laughs> this guy just banished you. Yeah, but, you know, it wasn't, they, they it wasn't, it too, wasn't much. too bad. I was waiting for like a second and then I came back. <laughs> so. well, Seriously, what has happened to like Aramul? I thought, it's not Aramul, what has happened to Talion? I thought his resolve in killing things was just like totally overboard now. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's gone, I mean, you're... He's turning into a pussy. You can talk to him about it if you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. It's Cyrilla's turn next, so all you've got is this dancing guy in the corner. Does he does he look nervous or anything? Or is he like <laughs> he, do, he doesn't look too pleased. No, he just yeah, got probably his look But he can't do it. He's trying to like yeah. he's trying to like resist this dance, but he can't. So he's getting more frustrated as time it goes. It is an irresistible dance. And I think it's like it's not like you're, to his face. It's not like you're compelled to dance. Your body does it. Yeah. Automatic, like, so you're uh, fully aware. <laughs> so yeah. he's, he's like freaked um, out. Yeah. Unless you want to suffer the same fate as your friend over here, you'll go home to your family and tell us everything we need to know about this place. So it doesn't. It's. Is he phased? Is that an intimidation check? <laughs> I mean, if you don't, we'll kill you. <laughs> he just he just he just re reiterates I am a black sleeve member we f we fulfill our missions or die trying well you will die trying right. at this rate sounds so like you're going to die trying then are you, are you willing are you willing to die <laughs> every black Sick sleeve member will die. I love that I'm just like a dog now <laughs> yeah. um I'm going to go and I'm going to go and grapple him okay go then roll um, I mean he's going to get disadvantaged does honest. that interrupt my concentration no no Actually, we did not no, I don't think actions do. It's not unless you get like hit or something. No, it doesn't. No, yeah, so it doesn't. Unless you take doesn't. damage or do another concentration spell, you pretty much can do whatever I you want. I get advantage on attack rolls against him, but I'm not attacking him. I'm I'm just trying to grapple him. Mm. I would say you still get advantage just because he can't stop you trying to grapple him, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm. Okay. So, But he's still going to roll, but so it's not an automatic yeah, cool. thing. But he, well, you, will, you will get advantage. I don't think he's got anything like special against this anyway. Okay. Yeesh. I'm gonna use an inspiration. Okay. Oh, you got quite a few, so. I've got plenty. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Round inspiration. Sorry, what was the second one? Six. Oh. Is that your highest? Yeah. Okay. I mean, he he manages yeah, to I kind of like inspiration. he kind of like dances out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> he gets enough. He so gets enough me. to kind of like shimmy, like, shimmy, like like uh, what's it? What's it called? Move uh, to the lift. Like, yeah, that's it. Like, Crisscross. You know, what's that's it? Funny. Yeah, that kind of like yeah. hammer start, like MC Hammer, like shift to the side, kind of thing. <laughs> out of the way. Yeah. 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 I mean, so, someone, where are you? someone should where pin you? this guy. I'm on him. I hope you're there. I'll, I'll, I'll so he's basically you. like kind of like shimmied over to here. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Argnex. Unless you've got anything else, because you've technically you've still got a bonus or an action, I suppose, because it's a it was a spell. No, it was a grapple, so that was your action. So you've got a bonus still. You want to do anything? Um, I was thinking of using a bardic inspiration on someone, but I mean, 
We don't need it for this fight. So, so it's Arg's turn next. So we got a dancing guy and an eighty dead guy, right? Yeah, that guy's dead. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, the guy, oh, the other guy's dead. Oh, he's dead, dead. dead. They're dead. Um, it's only the dancing guy, who isn't bloodied, by the way. We should definitely knock him around a bit. Interrogate him. Man. Do you still pose a threat to us? Slap him about. A bit. I don't think so because we can just grapple him. He's not a threat. Not with all of us in the room. Wait, how, how long does the dancing thing last? One minute. It's just, oh, right. So it's like six rounds of combat, so yeah, we're yeah. good. Yeah, it's a while. So. I mean, bear in mind, he could always break out of it when it's his turn, so... Yeah. I can actually use mm. lucky points. I've only got one left, though, actually. I do <laughs> I've wasted this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Gears again. This ah, okay. Alright. So, wisdom saving again. Yeah. Ooh, that might be... Yeah, that should be a f fail on his part because he got a 15. So, yeah, so your gears works. Okay, nice. So, I'm just going to reread gears. Is to basically just uh, magical command creature carry out some. Okay. So, I say to him. Stay in that corner and do not move <laughs> and tell us everything you know. Nice. <laughs> Alright. He's going to say no, which wow. makes him take the 5d10 psychic damage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so can you roll 5d10? I'll tell you, this Italian was not this committed when he was in the black sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> What happens if he survives? Does he still have to take out, or does he just resist it? It's a bit weird, so... I mean, no one's incurring that again. While the creature is... is uh, sorry, while the creature is charmed by you, it takes 5d10 damage each time... Oh, but no each more time it, each day. Yeah. yeah. So. so I don't know what happens after that. Like, can he just keep saying no? <laughs> I don't know, you presumably obey it after that, though. Unless he knows. That's Yeah, it's kind of a weird wording, but... Yeah. If the creature can understand you, it must... It's takes, so basically uh, hoping that it dies, I guess. 41, Sonny. Alive. Would this? Would he have resistance? It's psychic, which is its own thing. If you're wondering. Well, basically, I mean, I think you've probably discovered by this point he's resistant to spells. Yeah. So no, psychic. Yeah, yeah. Its own thing, I think. Okay. I yeah, it's so, not the physical damage by the magic. No. Right. So basically, he, because he said no, his brain just like almost bleeds, like he bleeds out of his eyes and his nose and everything and his ears um, and he just kind of crumbles to the floor but he's still he's, he's severely wounded but he is still alive like ask, crazy. Him <laughs> ask him again ask him again I'm not going to cast gears again well no, you can't oh, does it go? Has it gone now? Yeah. Oh. no, uh, I think it's gone I it, I it's 30 days. Days. 30 days but I thought I could yeah. stay on it actually technically I shouldn't have let you do it because gears has a casting time of a minute Oh shit! Uh, oh damn! Well, I mean, he was dancing, Again, so we could. We I should have. I should have. I should have read, I should read it. That while he was dancing. <laughs> Just as the dance ends. Yeah, I would have been like preparing it. I mean, it depends if you were planning on keeping him alive. I wasn't. Cause, I mean. Again, I should have read it. I suppose so. We'll let it, we'll allow it for now because it's not going to really make a difference in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> um, so it's Talion's turn next. Okay. Oh, for real? I'm so low in the list. No, you got <laughs> five, man. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to go up to him and I'm just going to punch him so he's unconscious. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, can you roll to hit? Do, am I proficient in unarmed? Actually, I should tell you what, I'll hit him with the flat of my blade. Just so, um... so you're going you're gonna to basically roll to, to knock out. Yeah. Fine. Roll to hit then. You can get information out of him. Ooh. Like what's behind these doors? I can tell you what. Yeah, in fact, I will. <laughs> I will look around. Well, and I'll say <laughs> one of the gayest commands was to tell me everything you know. Hmm. I mean, this guy's no threat, right? Like his brain's turned to mush, and he's like lying on the ground. Kind of like he's near the kneeling position. Okay. Shack on the, is he still dancing? <laughs> um. No, because his body just won't allow him. Okay. 
Uh, but he is. I mean, he's still alive. I'm just gonna look around at the group and say. Well, let's say that he's he's he's, he's on his knees, but he's kind of like. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say to the group. That's do we want to knock this guy out, or does anybody want to question him further? Well, what, what do you know? Doors? Sorry. Aramil in their form is going to roar again at that comment. Pollux going to just say, "Look, it would probably be better off killing him. We don't want him." somehow leaving and alerting anybody else through any other means. We don't know what kind of magic he holds. I'm going to go up and I'll, I'll hit him with the power of the blades. Knock him out. We don't, oh. Not to kill him. Out, out of character, Aramo is thinking, I agree with Pollock. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I'll choose the roll I rolled before. That's 22 total. Okay, so roll damage. I'm not, I'm not trying to kill him, though. But... No, because you're not trying to kill him, though. Yeah. Technically, you're not cutting him either, which means you can't use the element, you can't add elemental. Okay, fine. Uh, so normal damage is uh, nine. Nine. Oh, if he's not knocked out, I'll swing again with. <laughs> second. Okay. I mean, if it's nine, excuse then, me. Yeah. <laughs> if it's nine, turns. I've got, I've got extra attacks, multi attack. Oh so yeah. Extra and my bonus okay. attack rather. So. Yeah. So with the nine, he does he does um, pass out. Okay, good. And I'll sheath my scimitars and I'll just say I'll look at Pollock and say I will not kill him. Now, it's, it would be his turn, but he's knocked out. <laughs> Aramil, technically still, I will give you, allow you to choose what you do with your next your turn. Are you going to eat an unarmed and a knocked out man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Aramil's going to half go over to Trisha and start sniffing and whimper in a bare form. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Alright. I'm talking like a proper... <laughs> Oh, it's kind of <laughs> Do we um? Can we act freely? Uh, not yet, because it's Pollock's turn. He's probably gonna kill him. <laughs> God. So he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna use magic missile. Damn. What is that? Oh God. So one, three, seven. Fuck! I could have counted spell that kind of cold. He um, he, da he attacks him, but it's not, still not enough to kill. Well, it's not enough to kill him. Really? I'm gonna look at Pollock. I'm just gonna be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> As I explained, we cannot afford any witnesses or any. What happens when he wakes up? We cannot afford him to to communicate with anybody. People can communicate telepathically with others. If he is even conscious or becomes conscious. He could alert some Fenelli of our presence. And we can't have that. Shit. If he yeah, could communicate not. telepathically, he would have done it already. I agree. I think we should time up and leave him in the corner. She probably already knows we're here. Are we acting freely? No? Yeah. In that case... I want to search one of the dead men. One of the dead man. Okay. Can I drink my health... How much is a health potion? I can just do it while you guys do stuff. How much do I, I think have? it was a... Uh, that's a thing for that, isn't there? Well, so I'll, um, eat, I'll eat the steak first, so I get that. <laughs> so that I think a steak will, will say like one d six, but um, potion of healing I think has a specific two d four plus two for okay, a, cool. for a potion of healing. So I'll use up. If anybody else wants a steak, by the way, I have lots of steaks. So, <laughs> so what are you up to now? Uh, what do you heal? I'll roll for my health potions then. Okay. You know. Are we all so, are we all pretty bashed up? Um, so I've got Cirilla on 27 health, so I'm basically 36%. I'm on 32 Reardon now. on 66%. Arg on 75 Talion on 30%. Okay. Aram um, on 80... Well, I'm on 100%. Actually, yeah, Aram because yeah, the bear would have taken it, yeah. so... Um, yeah. I'm gonna loot the, uh, the, the unconscious guy. Okay. Does anybody else right. want a steak? Oh, I'll keep him. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take a steak. Right. I was I'll gonna mash your wounds after this. Are you? Uh... Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, you might as well eat the steak anyway, because it'll give you a d6. Yeah. So I'll give a yeah. steak to Reardon. And That's two. Two. Um, six. I'm, I'm going to just transform back into Aramil yep. and sort of cradle Trisha in her tiny form in my hands. Can you roll a perception check? She's alive! <laughs> Holy fuck! That is... Oh yeah, I'm proficient, aren't I? So, um, I got two for the heal. 
So that is, I think that's 23. Nice. When you've got her in your hands, you can feel that she's growing. Oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> it's just like actual Groot. Kill the tree before it does something. It's, <laughs> it's Sorry. Sorry. I bet they've enchanted it against us. Um... Um, so yeah, on the body of the first guy, uh, you obviously got his black staff. You have his contract as well. Oh, that'd be interesting to read. Um, and he has... Eighteen gold on him. Decent. In addition. Taking eighteen gold. Okay. Um, on the other guy... You have a similar situation where he's got his contract, his black staff. He's got robes. I mean, that's not really interesting. Um, he does also have... He has 16 gold on him. What? Does... We, we um, can see that he, there was a magic. There was a spelling. The magic. Yep. Can I, can I try and detect the source of that? Yep. Roll Arcana. What was the robes? I just want to find... Um... Uh, plus 10, nice, 28. So you can feel that the whatever was doing it, it's just something that this person just emanates. Like he emanates almost like, uncon like subconsciously a magical, I wouldn't even say barrier, like an aura. Dick. But you have no idea what, the, what does it. Does it? I mean, you, just, on. you can't see one, no. You don't know what it is, but you can, that's pretty much what was dissipating it. Um... Does it feel? Does it hark back to a spell that no. I would have at least heard, potentially heard of in the past? I did check, but no, because it just says in here that he's got da um, damage from spells. It doesn't say that it comes from anything. Um, from what I understand, I'm, I'm mass cure wounds thing twenty healing to nice. six creatures. So twenty. So what? That's all of us apart what? from Pollock, so including so everyone, so everyone gets 20? Yeah. Sonny, I'm now on 52 from the stake as well. Yep. You're on 50... So you're on... What, is that including the 20? Yeah. yeah. Does Two. Trisha get 20? I got 24, no, I... basically, because the stake gave me 4. One second. I, I, yeah, Eight. I chose to heal Trisha over Pollock. Oh. Um, it doesn't well, affect Trisha You're full, anymore. aren't you, actually? Um, Arthur? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm full. Okay. No, uh, I, will, I, will, I will get Pollock, sorry. You're going to kill your whole, you're no. healing Pollock. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, Pollock's included. Books, I mean, Ariel's full anyway. Okay, fine. So he gets that. Um, Trisha is not affected by the heal. Oh, okay. So, you know. So, um, But she yeah. is, isn't she? Is, she? is the body moving? The body's not moving, but it is growing. Maybe she's reverting back. Oh, God, we should get out of here. What if she turns into the big tree again? <laughs> um, nah. Sonny, I'm going to cast Disguise Self so I look like one of the dead gods. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Or we could maybe... I do have... I picked this spell up called Seeming, which I've used it before, actually, that disguises us all. So maybe if there are more of these gods... Do we think there are more of these gods? Well, I mean, can, can't, can't... to be honest, it just doors straight to another... Oh, I don't place. know. And are they you, just see these, you just see these doors. You haven't tried them yet. What, what's this door like? Is it like it could be a sort of storage cupboard or something where we can hide the bodies? You'd have to try it and find out. Okay, wait, wait. Before we go, I think it's a good idea oh, wait. if we all look like guards, if possible, then. No, uh, before anyone opens any doors, can I just, like, use my mirror to, like, look underneath? Oh, yeah. Ah, nice. Okay. Can you roll... Oh, uh, we'll do sleight of hand, see how effectively you use this mirror. I'll prepare a reaction to cast Thunderstep if anyone rushes through. Thunderstep? I've never even heard of that. I'll go forward into the room if, I, if they come, but we'll see. Is that even a spell? Yep. Just Where? Uh, 18. Sorry. I don't see Thunderstep in the list. Don't I? I just, yeah, I a Warlock thing. It's a Warlock spell, yeah. It's not, it's not in the list. It's not in the player's handbook. Might be a, it, well, might be a Warlock ability, ability instead of an actual... I'll Is see it if Warlock I can a... find it. Because, yeah, it could be. That sounds like an unearthed thing. Mm. I'll have a look. Um... So I definitely don't remember it. Anyway, um, 
17, yeah. So you can basically see what kind of looks like a... Mm. Like a spell workshop. It, it's... Spell workshop? Is there yeah, so you see a lot of desks with vials and things like that. And books. Um, but I can't see anyone inside or... No. Okay. It's busted. Um... How can I see the how big it is? Oh, I don't know where it came from actually. Pretty big. Um, it's from Xenophile's Guide to Everything, Bigger which is an official expansion. Uh, yeah, but we're not okay. we're not doing that. So uh, no. I'll move my spells around. Um, yeah. it's bigger than the room you're in. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go to Tally and can you disguise yourself and knock on the door. I can't be certain that there's someone. In there. Try just disguise us all for good measure. I oh, can do everyone. Okay. I'll yeah. Do that, Right, I will um, disguise us all as um, black sleeves guards. Not these two guys. Um, just similar to what? what these guys about? and others. <laughs> They're similar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's fine. Just looking up another spell to get. So that's seeming. So that's it's an illusion. So it's investigation checks to to see if it's okay for them to discover. So it's not them. actually physically altering the clothes. It's just kind of mm. illusioning the clothes. The changes brought by this spell fail to hold up to physical inspection. Yes. Okay, so yeah, it's an illusion rather than a... Yeah, yeah fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do with this door, then? Do I just knock? Yeah, someone knocking? I'll, I'll go knock and push my way you... in. Alright, I'm going to put Trisha in my pocket. <laughs> At her okay. current size. <laughs> Boy, okay. Um, you do notice that when you put her in a pocket, she kind of like half hangs out of it. Rather than being fully encompassed, I've swapped out my thunder step for something else. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna um I'm, I'm gonna cast um my cantrip message at Talon. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, it's a cantrip at, at Ri <coughs> Who's at the door? Talion. Yeah. Yeah, I've just knocked basically. Okay, I'm gonna say, Talion, let me know if you need a very large object to be thrown <laughs> into that room. <laughs> I'll, I'll nod and say we'll do. <laughs> and then, yeah, push open the door. Okay, so the door does open. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's empty. To reveal a magical lab. I'm just going to look around and say, can I have a look around? Is there anything yeah. that catches my eye? So, nothing particular. Uh, roll perception. <laughs> Seven. No, you can't see anything interesting. Okay. I'll just uh, try can I, roll, can I do it? <laughs> yeah, okay, when I go I in, I'm going to say... Hey, what? Oh, it's Trisha. I was wondering who I had control of then. Um, I'm going to say, okay, guys, uh, Trisha's getting bigger, and I'm not really sure where to put her. Maybe we should bag of holding. burn the body. <laughs> Trisha in the bag of holding. I think, well, how, big, how big is this? Um, how big is this? It's a, right? it's a small. It's a small cupboard. Shit. It's a, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, it sounds like a one door, like open like this cupboard. I think we I'll should drag to... the bodies in here for the time being. I'll put Trisha in my bag of holding. It's a good idea, Siri. Okay. <laughs> good idea. So I'm, I'm gonna put her in my bag of holding. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna just move her away for then. For now. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. So you are you gonna move those two guys into here? Are you? I think that's that would be the best. Mm -hmm. All right, if that's what you do, that's going to happen. Is there a way to lock the door behind us? I mm -hmm. did. Ha I do have a spell, but it's not prepared. Oh, how long would it take to prepare it? Um, long rest, I think. A day. No. Oh. Is are there any magical ingredients in here that you could use to make it prepare quicker? Make what? No, I just literally need to prepare it. Fuck the issue. Okay. Um, oh, can I lock pick the door to? A uh, lock it. I break the lock. No, no, no as in to lock it. I don't oh, think that's how. Lock, lock. That's not how. That's, that's not how lock works. Can you then? Oh, can you can, yeah, you can it? unlock and unlock a door. Yeah, because uh, you, the... you can lock it again. Yeah. If it has the mechanism there, because you can unlock and then lock it. It works the same way. You just okay, actually, yeah, that's a fair point because you just if do it, it the other it way. Door. Yeah, it has a lock on it, but, but I guess not. Yeah. All right. Did did the gears work? By the way, so was he staying? Put anyway. No, uh, he died, didn't he? Oh no, he didn't die. No, yeah, he's, 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 he's found unconscious. Actually, I need to see how long he's unconscious for. 
Yeah. Okay. So well, um, gear still in effect. Technically, he is under. Technically, he is under gear still. If we if we if we put a medallion on him, can does that mean he can't telepathically? No, he uh, can. Like, I agree no, with Siri. He would have done it by now if he could have. Yeah. He, he yeah but no, no, but we basically. we couldn't use spells. He would be able to telepathically talk to other people. Okay. Mm. Because we mind can... altering, talking to someone's mind is not mind altering. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Fair point. How long have his gears last for? Thirty days. So. Thirty days. Yeah. Um, are we all disguised as guards, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. I think we should tie him up anyway. Yeah, for Just sure. Just in case. Go for it. Who's right, got this... rope? I've got rope. Pretty much right. all of us. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll go tie him up. Okay. As securely as I can. Um, are there any can places you roll, we can, can hide? Can you roll a sleight of hand check, please? Mm -hmm. 16 raw plus... 2, I think. Hang on. Yeah, uh, 18. 18. Okay. Are there any places we could hide these guys? Not really, no, because basically you've got a, t a desk here, another sort of counter here on the on this side. I mean, this place this is, is the, this is this is a cupboard. Yeah. Are there um, any this, sheets? That's a shelf, and that's a shelf. No, there's no sheets in here. No. <laughs> I mean, you're going to leave a stinking dead body out. I mean, we could leave your cape down here, covering the bodies. Seems like a waste Invisible. of the cable, I don't know. Yeah, I think just leave risky. them. We'll, we'll be in and out before anyone finds them. This area is restricted anyway. I don't think many people will come here. All right. Well, that, okay. Well, let's move quickly. What's on the tables? Do like notes or anything on there? Uh, yes, there are some. I'd like to see what the notes say. Can you roll Arcana? Can I knock on this door while he does that? Let's see if there's any yeah. Other side. The 26. So it seems to be just sort of notes. Um, people <clears throat> uh, mixing various concoctions together to see if they make a anything special, like special potions, like alchemy, basically. So if, if any two mixing of potions make anything decent. Um, mm -hmm. From what, from what mm -hmm. you can tell, no, there's not a lot of decent shit going on. Um, they do, however... Uh, how, where are you? Where are you searching exactly? Are you on the on the that? on the desk table? Yeah, on that one. Um, mm. So you know, I don't see anything with those on there. Anything uh, int nothing interesting. A lot of failed attempts. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not interested enough. That you'll go with everyone else when you move. Then they move on. I'll cool. just knock on the door. And see if right. Anything. So obviously this is a double door. So yep. much more majestic. As <laughs> such. Um, but you hear no response when you knock on the door. Okay, no. I'll push it open. So it's harder to push. So when you try and push it like a normal door, it's seen it's very heavy. Like you doesn't oh. instantly move. I'll shove it. <laughs> Can you roll a strength check? Hmm. Twenty two. Nice. So that opens. Awesome. Let's be like, oh! <laughs> shove it open. To reveal. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and say I immediately think this is a trap. What what is it? Just like an empty room, basically. Basically. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna say to them there's no way this isn't a trap. So I a trap. cast Mage Hand and just send it into the room and like tap the floor. Let's go over. Okay. Well, when you do that, nothing happens. Pollock, I think you should go in first. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. That was I was planning on doing you, that anyway. To take something. Yeah, yeah, come on, Pollock come in. on. Have, like, to take... He just says, come on, ladies. You're supposed to be, you know, afraid of a room. Terrible. I'm gonna follow like, a good ten meters behind wherever Pollock goes. Why? Why would this be restricted in an empty room? Huh? Well, yeah, genius. I don't know. So as you enter the room, so I you don't want to blow a true thing. I'm gonna you watch. see here, <clears throat> unlike everything else, which is a wall, this is a bright blue magical barrier. <sighs> Pollock, go touch the barrier. <laughs> you say go touch the barrier. Yeah. <laughs> it just turns you go, idiot. Why would I touch a barrier? Well, I will, however, check it out. Alright. Check it out. Whatever you want to call it. Aramil will also like to do an arcana check on the barrier. As will Arkan. <laughs> okay, go for it. Everyone gets the highest. I'll just watch. 28. <laughs> 28. 
Just gonna chill it out. <laughs> well, that's not great. Uh, wait, which one's... Yeah, okay. Ooh, that's a nine. Got a so, yeah. so, Arg, <clears throat> you can tell this is a very similar to the barrier that was at the front of the building. Okay. Um, where it's an, obviously a barrier that prevents people from going in, but with that roll, <clears throat> you know that this barrier is leaps and bounds over the other one. In terms of the, just, just how strong it is. Polyc? Uh, oh. So, Polyc has a look. What do you think? He turns around. And goes, I think we found our prize. Alright, I guess look. I guess that. Um but can I use stone way? shape on this wall and create a doorway? Ooh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, what, I mean, yeah. is anyone gonna look at this barrier? Not closely. Yeah, did I'll anyone look from look, distance, yeah. Did you anyone can look, look through it. I mean it's a it's a it's a blue barrier, but you can see through it. I'll pay through. Oh, you can. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I I Sorry, that was my bad. Hand on the barrier. I'd, I'd like, I'd like to look through the barrier. <laughs> You're gonna look through the barrier. Yeah. Okay, you look through the barrier, this. and you see oh, a wow. giant purple crystal. I think that's oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stone shape a door. Well, wait. I think that's the place on the barrier. And I'm I, I place what my happens. hand on the barrier. <laughs> Your hand, not mage hand. Uh, the hand. Because I'm gonna lose guessing, that hand. I'm Your guessing, hand. The the glyph. I'm, I'm guessing because of the glyph, it might help. It's a different, <laughs> glyph. It's a different glyph. I'd laugh if it's well, just it's a you, just like 2,000 damage or something. I think we should have checked the glyph for those bodies. I've given you your chance to back out. That's what okay, I would do. His, 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 his intuition will say... But not Mage well, Hand. Because you Mage Hand, hand in the room. I want to see what happens, to oh, be fair. Okay. No, I mean, you've, commi happen. you've committed now. I'm not going to let you change your mind. So, when you touch this barrier, you feel an immense amount of magical energy surge back at you. It's an extreme amount of force damage. Um, you actually go flying back. Does the hand get chopped you, off? You take <laughs> 50 damage. Oh. Oh. From oh, it. Get down. I would still like to use stone shape <laughs> on the yep. wall. After that. Yeah. <laughs> on the wall! <laughs> It's not on the barrier. Probably the, whole the barrier route. might run like through the wall. But we'll, we'll, we'll Shh, we through. don't know that yet, though. No, no, no. Arg just goes, ah, oh, that fucking hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kind of nod respect in respect. Er, Pollock's just argument. shaking his head. Pake is shaking his head at you. Yeah. Alright, Pollock. So I want to stone he's kind shape of like, the wall. He's just kind of like, he's shaking his head, way. but he's like, hmm, hmm. Sort of in a thinking posture. Because he's never seen this barrier before. Because he's never gotten this far. So, uh, stone shaping the wall, uh, when you do so, um, reveals more barrier. <laughs> um, so, you, so you can separate it, but a barrier is still there. Can I go back quickly? And I thought that was a good idea Dan had. Did the guards have any glyphs yeah. on them? I was going to check. I'll go back. I'll just have a look back. Maybe chop the hand off so you can get in and out. I mean, do they, do they have well, anything? Well, does that actually have... Oh, yeah. Uh, if they've got the glyph, the yeah. Guards, the guards weren't. They're, just, they're just, Yeah, ooh. I do. I do think I should have checked. Actually, I should have. I should have read my notes. Um, just so before you, hang on. Before you do that. Oh, move back through. Uh, so there. where are you? I was keeping my so you're all in. You're all in here. Um, I need to know where people are. So I would be back here because I'm keeping my distance from the barrier. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty close gonna, to the barrier. Go back to the guards. I've just got blown yeah, back, so I'm about there. Yeah. Alright, so Pollock is probably has probably now come up to the barrier. Yeah. Um, after you've done so. When so oh this is kind of So yeah, so this is before you moved away. So this is this will be after Arg touched it. Because I imagine that Arg touching it and the stone shape kind of happened around that same time. Mm. Yeah. Um so after that happened Where is the Things. It's gonna be a long call. Yeah. For That's fuck's sake, Arg. We should have just <laughs> used him to get in and then go for Finalia, really. Hmm. Oh. oh, here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking right next to me. So, <laughs> this woman appears in the far corner of the room. Put your invisibility claim on. <laughs> basically, instantly, yeah. as she enters, Fires 
calls out disintegrate and <laughs> fires it at Pollock, who is oh. currently at the barrier. It's not a big counter thing, spell. Though. Can I counter spell? Ooh. You had not have it prepared. Oh, I would. Have, oh. <laughs> and plus, what you're face I'm assuming you're facing the barrier at this point. I am facing the barrier, but so you wouldn't have seen her have it prepared. So, All right, can, I, can I can I get on the cloak? <laughs> You can, because you... I see her coming, and she's yeah, focused yeah, yeah. on something yeah, else. Yeah, you can she... go in the cloak. I mean, you can try counter spell. You can use counter spell. No, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm facing, I'm facing the wrong way. That's reasonable. Right. So, but from now on, we're in a magic school. I want counter spell prepared. <laughs> that's fine. But I still think like you need to be looking in the direction that you're. Yeah, no, no, of course. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. She's caught us by surprise. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, Pollock. He's expendable. Yeah, he evaporates basically okay. into a big pile of ash. What does her um disintegrate beam look like? <laughs> it's like um, it's pink. Gallic gun. Yeah. So it's ignoring pink, pink, Pollock's pink, pink, untimely pink. demise, I'm just gonna turn to her and say, "Fenelli, I presume." <laughs> <laughs> without, without even responding to you, she's gonna vanish again. <laughs> she lifts her staff, slams it into the ground. Oh. A darkness envelops you all. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell! Oh. I cast dispel magic. Doesn't work. Uh, For I'm fuck's run, sake! I'm run to where I was this close. <laughs> you, this even close to using stone shape what, on man. the wall. <laughs> you <laughs> so this fucking da- close. So this darkness does envelop you all. Mm-hmm. Eventually, yeah, see me. eventually, the 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 darkness becomes brighter and brighter and brighter until everything that's black is now white. I'm gonna run to where she was. Oh, no, no mind. <laughs> so there's nothing I feel like we're on a different plane of existence. No, no, no. Vanellia, so, are you here? <laughs> so, you God. hear. Nice. Use your words. You do hear. You do hear. Oh, okay. voice. Good. I should have practiced a voice. I did not practice <laughs> Make it womanly. It's hard. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try. Ah, gentlemen. Trying to come in and destroy things of my property, I will not allow. So, as punishment, I have sent you to my Enigma space. Let's see if you are smart enough to escape before I destroy your bodies. I actually just wanted to talk to you. I wasn't here to destroy the crystal. <laughs> it was all Pollock's idea. <laughs> we had nothing to do with it. We, 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 were, were, we using were captured. To, we were we using were, Pollock to He was holding to us hostage. He was, and terrible. we just wanted to g- get an audience with you, really. We're big fans. Well, we're I huge fans. Huge Can I roll deception? If, if, you, if you could see my face, you could tell <laughs> that I don't care. <laughs> Have fun. Sonny, can I, can I use my cantrip um... produce flame just to see if I can cast in the world? I just want to produce flame in my hand yep. just to see if I can cast. It doesn't work. And one thing I will also add is none of you have your gear. What? Where's my mask? Oh, my what do we have? What are we wearing? What so are you, we wearing? You'll have, I'll, I'll allow them. I think it should stay. It's not a combat. Thing. It's magical. Yeah. It's, it's a magical yeah. item. It doesn't do I'll allow I'll allow the mask yes. <laughs> for reasons. The cloak. But it will not it won't have any magical That's fine. stuff I with just, it. I just want to you, 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 you do not have any of your you do not have your any of your gear or your items. You have your armor, but you don't have anything else. Alright, I see. Um, do I still have my shield? No. Sonny, what's the name of the paladin ah. on Zia? <laughs> Sorry? I made that what's shield especially on Zia. Sorry, say that again. What's the name paladin. of the paladin? Yep. Shurik. I'm going to say, Shurik! I have information on Shurik. <laughs> so, you hear no response. Fucking slack. Uh, can I use my communicator? You can try. Yeah, can I use it? Yeah, try. Nothing happens. <coughs> Nothing happens? Oh, no. fuck. Fenelia, what do you want? Why are we here? <laughs> you hear no response. Oh, she just what you us. do, what does happen... In a magical prison. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> All you hear is if you want to get out of here, you'll have to pass the trials of the Enigma space. I would rather sit down and have a love. A, a one to one Sounds like GLaDOS. <laughs> Nelia, we can talk this How out. do you expect us to fight if we can't cast? We don't have to fight, we just have to pass the trial. Does the, Okay, dog, do you talk? <laughs> so, do we see ex- it? so now yeah. I'll explain. I'll explain what you see. Okay. So you see this giant, kind of partly decaying 
Cerberus creature. I hope it just gives us a riddle and leaves it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is currently chained up to, but you can see that all the chains kind of relay down to these two focal points. It is chomping around, snarling at you, biting in your direction in a very aggressive manner. Is um, it, it, it doesn't it, respond is to it God it anything. <laughs> is it bloody? Uh, it'll, be, it'll be barking, yeah, barking and biting towards the players in an aggressive manner. Yeah. Is it is it God in like a key underneath it or some sort of object? You can roll, you can roll, roll perception. perception. So if you haven't guessed, you will be going through a series of puzzles <laughs> that you will have to solve. Cool. Oh fuck! Who's <laughs> proficient in animal handling? I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> if you think I'm uh, that. Go on, off you go, lads. <laughs> Alright, so what, what what was your, um... Oh, I was only 13. Alright, you don't see him, yeah. You see what I just explained. Siri, start Okay, I would like to hold my music. hands up in the air and say, Calm down, fair creature. <laughs> <laughs> Worth we'll a try. All the heads just kind of point at you and snarl. Siri, play some soothing music. I don't have my instruments, you yeah. fucking oh, insensitive twat. Sing! Are you joking? Does Siri not sing? You can Aren't you handbone, hand Siri? I never Very sing. Good. I could handbone. I you could handbone. Hand hand Siri, but try, try handbone. No. See, right. see if the dog likes Siri's it. Siri's gonna approach it, like, just to... She, like, just outside its reach. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she can't sing, but she, she will attempt to handbone to calm the beast. Um, so, so roll performance, then. Oh, this might work. <laughs> 20, unnatural. Fuck you now, man. Does my bardic inspiration still work here? I have interest as a class feature. As long as it doesn't require you to play an instrument, then... Well, it'd be hand-burning. So, oh, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> Which I'm then, so then, glad then, I took. Then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I suppose you could, yeah, in theory. Yeah, okay, cool. Just how to, does, yeah. How does the dog sure. react? So the dog... It's definitely focused on Cirilla. Yes. It stops snarling, and it's just kind of looking... It's snarling like... Rather than kind of like barking loudly, it's just quietly snarling towards Cirilla and kind of edges his face... Its faces, I guess, closer to Cirilla. That's good, Cirilla. Keep, you can, keep you can actually that. feel no, like the something. breath... <laughs> you can feel the breath coming out, like the hot breath coming out of his nose. Is, so she didn't um, give us any inkling of what the challenge actually is, right? Of course not. Um, she doesn't want you out of here. the chains? Is it? What do the chains do, like? Yeah, actually, yes. Yeah, well, the chains do something, but... <laughs> so the chains are pretty much the only thing that's stopping it from moving anywhere. But it looks pretty chill point. now, right, doesn't it? Like, it looks okay. Yeah. Just, How... But it, it doesn't... Yeah. How big is it? Like, reach and stuff, that sort of thing. Huge. Um, Massive. Huge. I'm going to approach yeah. it. And Counts as a huge creature. Does it react to me kind of walking near it? I'll go to, like, oh, this it... series. Um, it depends how you're doing it. Just, so are you just, just blatantly walking, walking? Yeah, I'm just walking up. Use the animal handling. It's the, basic. Mm -hmm. It depends how you're walking up to it. Just I normally, guess. just stroll up. So the two of the heads are still focused on Cirilla. One of them does look at you and sort of snarls at you louder. So I'm gonna pull okay. out a steak and I'm gonna say, "I'll give you this." You don't have any. You don't have anything. She took my food. Yeah, are you joking? Took, <laughs> took your, uh, they took your. They took your. She took your bags of holding as well. Yeah. Or, yeah, rather, actually, rather, rather, rather than saying that, ah, she's got Trisha. Do not have your bags of holding on you. I'll say it like that. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm going to go to the we far have left head. You don't have any of your gear. All you have are the clothes on your back. Okay, okay I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the far left head and use or attempt to use animal handling and sort um, of say, shh, there, puppy. Add a, add a D12 on a inspiration for that. Assuming you're still working. There, right. puppy. <laughs> roll, roll animal handling. Nat 20. Alright. Oh, shit. Okay. So the two that are focused on Cirilla seem to stop snarling completely and are mem me sort of focused focused in on you at this nice. point. However, you've still got the one head that is still snarling at the Italian that walked up to it. I guess... Uh, is I guess there, is there now a gap? Yeah, so, so there's, kind of, like, there's kind of like... It's kind of like a... That situation. Uh, can I <sighs> roll stealth to like get closer? I yes. want to see if it's anything underneath it. While, okay. he's, while he's doing that, can I try and do the same animal did? But not as nice. I'd be like, calm, calm, be calm. I'm not giving him bardic inspiration. <laughs> Why? <laughs> 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 right, you, you, you roll animal handling this time. You know what? I'm going to use my point of inspiration. <laughs> so yeah, I don't need your thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
19. So it kind of like <laughs> stops snarling at you. Okay. But he is very... He's curious more than anything. Okay. But he's not looking at you in the same soft way as they, he's they're looking at Talion. At Aramil, sorry. He's kind of more like... Hmm... I'm gonna, what are you up to? I'm going to say, kind of thing. nod if you also hate Vanellia and want to get out of here. Doesn't, he doesn't do anything. Doesn't um, can you roll stealth? Really? Yeah, hmm. oh, yeah can I take a perception oh, check when I'm closer as well? So oh yeah, I want to take a perception check on the chain I'm closest to. Yeah, what does the chain look like? So the chain looks like... Um, it's well-made chain. It's, I mean, it's kind of a bright silver chain. But like I said, they the chains kind of wrap all around it, um, probably even more so than it's depicted in the picture. So it's down its legs, down its down its around its body, around its necks, um, even around its tail. Um, but like I said, it's the only point of contact it has on the floor are these two, essentially, bolts in the ground. I'm going to get a bit closer to my chain. There's not much else to do apart from free it, right? Yeah. I'm just going to shout much out, agree. Nelia, what are, you, what are you testing us for? Does she, does she reply? No response. No response. Damn, man. She's, yeah. she's never um, so... So, so was... I got a nat 1, and I used point of inspiration, got 26. Oh. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. going to say, that one would have been uh, oh, burning through them this one session. Hit. Right, so you managed to get... So where are you trying to get to? Uh, I just want to get closer in order to... Ah, oh, so I don't want to get under it. Well, I could get under it, because I want to be able to reach me. Yeah, I'm going to get under it. Alright. So you okay. successfully managed to do that. So you... Oops, not that button. This button. Can I do another perception just to see my surroundings? Uh, uh, yeah. Can do. That's 21. I mean, you don't see any much different. Um, you sort of just... see the underbelly of, of the dog, but it's all covered in chains. Can I... Pat almost mum it's almost mummified by these chains by the way. Can I um, like can I pat the head amazing. that's like near me? Oh, I'm not sure that's wise on your part. I mean, oh, I could probably get away with it. I'll, but... I'll, I'll pat it gently. I'm going to let you do another uh, make you do another animal handling for this because you are very um yeah. 14. Can I pat my head gently? I feel like a nat <laughs> 20 should allow yeah, me yeah, to yeah. be oh, like Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can. No yeah. check required. Okay, cool. I got Good. 14. Um oh, shit. Ooh. It's he still he allow he allows you to do it, but he is still wary of you. Okay, I'll, I'll gain his trust. That's fine. Right. I'm gonna um, say, there, uh, puppy, there, uh, good puppy. Okay. Um, maybe yeah. Siri's uh, right. Maybe we do just I, snap the chain. Can I? Can I? Can I look at the chain? Yeah. What it look like? I want to. I can check the chain. Okay. Do the chains look like they're hurting the dog? Roll. That's eighteen. You can't feel anything magic about it. Um, okay. Roll 14. investigation. Oh, investigation. I'll roll again because I want a higher. Roll. Can I? Can I do the same check? I'd be interested in if they're hurting. Yeah. Sixteen. I will actually give you pro pro uh, not proficiency. What's it called? Advantage, Ooh. Aramil. Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> Sixteen for me. Oh yes. I'm so glad you gave me advantage. Investigation, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is twenty-five. Nice. So, <clears throat> Talion can see that it is, it is um, like quite tight around it, mm. def for sure. Um, Aramul can definitely see that where the bits where its its flesh has been flayed off, um, you can tell that it's been the chain rubbing against the chains that has been doing it. So the chains have definitely been dealing this damage to the beast. Okay. I'm going to turn to the group and say guys, I think we need to help the beast. The, the chains look like it's hurting it. By the time Talion comes to this conclusion and starts saying it, I'm going to start like trying to Ooh. look at how to take the chain apart anyway. <laughs> okay. well, we've, got no, we've got no weapons, right? So the best, no. we're, the best... We're just going to have to pull it, I guess. I mean, how big Ar Aramil get some big it. gorilla hands going or something? Uh, I've already used all my wild shapes. All of them? Well, f thanks to last night's events and oh, yeah. today. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna Gosh. try and pull one of the chains then, I guess, and okay. see if I can pull it off. Oh, did, you, did, did those guys not long rest? No, because oh, they came back at like 
You darn one, fools. One, one or two, and they woke up at like eight or whatever it is. So they didn't were, you, were you out horny again last night, Aramil? <laughs> I'm going to say, look, I don't want to talk about it last night. Let's just free the puppy here. If you were getting <laughs> freaky out in the woods, so anyway, very right. responsible. I assume it's strength. Italian roll strength. 15. You feel it Come move, I... but not enough. How does the dog Can I... like react to it? It's still it's looking it. at you. <gasps> At 20. Okay. Okay, so you managed to break this chain quite yes. convincingly. Um, does it <clears> try and play um, or is it cool? <laughs> a lot of them are just AM. <laughs> which is like, I'm, trying to think, I'm trying to think how a nat 20 would... I've got to reward it, but... He springs Look, out the I, other chain as well. Maybe just I've, break I've, no, I've no. calmed out the other... I've calmed them down. Okay. So and I pulled the chest. So the nat 20 will make those two cerebr the two heads basically smile at you. That is a <laughs> horrifying sight. I'd never want to see that again. <laughs> I'm also I mean, going to look, so look at both of them and just be like, good puppy. Isn't that better? Don't you feel better now? How dare they chain you up, you poor thing. Um, so what? Uh, yeah, so you've got one chain. Anyone Holding okay, can I can I go up and try it? Yeah, roll strength. Fucking modifier, I think. <laughs> can I assist him? Uh, yeah, go on then. So you get advantage. You get advantage. Eight. You get advantage. Oh, oh, okay, sweet. Tiny will kind of like slip in behind you and help you put it. <laughs> doesn't make a difference. Eleven. Oh, okay. Enormous turnip situation. <laughs> just, um, yeah, everyone just no, keep rolling. Doesn't budge. All right, Raiden, step aside. Come on, come on. Do Unnatural something. twenty. So you manage to break that chain. And I'll say to the dog, remember who got that off you. <laughs> <laughs> so, it just, so it just kind of howls. Oh, okay. <laughs> and disappears. Nice. Vanellia, we beat your stupid game. Let us have it. I fear there's only part one. Mm. Can I just immediately go, Oh, where's the puppy? I hope it never comes back. Oh my god. What's that? A rock. Can so we can see... we pause here? Sorry. I'm yep. I'm intrigued by this and I feel like this is a good point to pause and be like, oh, what's the next puzzle? Uh, I'm gonna ask for spoilers off the recording, so <laughs> but we can stop here. Yeah, I'm good to stop here. I need to finish with the C V thing. Three, two, one.